What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the basement. We got a great show for you tonight. It's me and Ramon, Red, and the Grand Maester of Brooklyn herself, Liz, is behind the camera. She'll be back later for a Game of Thrones Season 8 preview, theories, all sorts of stuff. We got a Captain Marvel spoiler-free review, and we got a great week in comics, too, no less. We got Frozen's Reunion Road, Dynamite's The Six Million Dollar Man, Marvel Gives Us Cosmic Ghost Rider Destroys Marvel History, Domino Hot Shots, Meet the Skrulls, Star Wars Vader Dark Visions, from Oni Press we got Morning in America, and from The Space Between we got Prison Witch. Uh. I got my Manhattan, Red's got his beer, Ramon's got some water. So grab whatever you're sipping on and join us, it's going to be a great night. Thanks yeah. for staying up late for us to get home from the movies to join you on the interwebs. Penny says hi, and Reddit Lord says YouTube is no fun about all the fun stuff that gets taken out. Yeah. I don't really take nothing out no more. I really don't. I, I stopped doing that shit because editing take, was taking too much damn time. Ooh. And I needed like things to stay awake, so I just I had to stop editing. <laughs> he, thoughts on mixing plain m ms and popcorn? What? Who, what? Absolute. Gross. Absolute. Oh, absolutely. She also said you have no a package. Fan of, yeah, I know that. Okay. Not a fan of Fast and the Furious, Speaking but you need m and popcorn? Oh. What? No, I don't think that was absolute. I think that was age that said that. It said what? Uh, that they didn't like the Fast and the Furious. That was Age of Art, I think. No, that was absolute. That's oh, absolute. my bad. Yeah. My bad, my bad. All right, so guys, I think what I'm going to do here, speaking of editing while we're on the subject, is I'm going to break this whole thing up into three different parts. We're going to do the comics, we're going to do the Captain Marvel review, and then we're going to do Game of Thrones. Yeah, I Girl. think that's how this is going to work. Just to uh, keep everything flowing smoothly. So if you're tuning in, you're going to wait till the end for the Captain Marvel review. Just in case maybe there's some people seeing a later show and they want to join in later on. No spoilers there. No spoilers. So if you haven't seen the movie, don't worry. You're, you're still good to go. So let's, uh, let's start with questions and comments from last week. How's that? Yeah. I like the idea. Uh, Kayla Gaylor says... Posting for Aaron Swift. All right. Well, thank you for posting on behalf of Aaron Swift. Thank you, Pete, Ramon, Greg, Red, and a big thank you to Hannah. That's so wild to me. 25 for a movie ticket. IMAX 3D tickets max out at $12 around here. Dang. Where the fuck are you? Where are you at? Seriously. Who was that? We, I, was Kayla? Yeah. Kayla and Aaron. Man, yeah, that's $25. That wasn't even IMAX. That was just at the mm. IMAX theater the enclosure imax tickets are like 28 dollars. yeah that was just a regular mm -hmm. ass theater with only like a little back reclining seat i mean i ain't even saying that shit like the, there was no foot rest there was no head rest i was just like <laughs> my fucking neck my discs were swinging all around you know i got two herniated discs i can't be having my fucking neck unsupported <laughs> <laughs> next time my ass bringing an airline pillow fuck that <laughs> absolute spend 12 dollars on her Marvel kept the Marvel ticket with tax and fees. Well, that's understandable. She half of the the effort for her is to get to the movie theater through seventeen feet of snow. Uh, about Dark Phoenix, will Cyclops be the one to kill or save Jean in the end? I don't care. I just don't. I kind of want it to be Magneto, but I know I it's to not be over. <laughs> I'm hoping they just. Fall. I hope I get my five dollars, Greg. I hope they cancel that fucking movie. <laughs> Uh, I mean, if they want to keep to the storyline, it will be, but is Cyclops a main enough character in this franchise to do it? That's a big question. That's why I think it would have to be like Professor X or Magneto. And then I hope, I agree, I hope the whole franchise dies. I do not want this connected to the MCU at all. And I don't know if you were watching The Gifted, but the season finale of The Gifted, which may turn out to be the series finale, we don't know yet, but we have it on Good Authority that it's getting canceled. Uh, it left a wide open door, literally, for the MCU. But hopefully that doesn't even go... Actually, I like the cast of The Gifted. I would accept them coming through. But, I don't know, Like this, this X-Men franchise just totally needs this, to be rebooted. Yeah, that, and it's a shame, because they wasted some good actors on it. Mm -hmm. Michael Fassbender being one of them. I like James McAvoy. Mm -hmm. He's no Patrick Stewart, but I like him. They got, a, they got a good run out of them, though. They did, they did. Uh, would the movie be better or have more appeal if Deadpool was in it? No. Absolutely. No. No, absolutely. No, it wouldn't it's, make sense. Of no. course it wouldn't make sense. It's Deadpool. 
Well, there's more on Deadpool later. Like uh, a book I was enjoying, and then what the fuck? But we we'll get you to too? it. You too? Yes. <sighs> See, now that was a case of why is Deadpool here? Uh, could he have a place in a movie like that? Yo, Absolute, that's a dope idea. I'm sure if you go to Ohio, you can find some more corn-fed boobies just like hers. Pete. Yep, that, that was a quote <laughs> of mine from last week. And I may have been too drunk to remember saying that, but it sounds like something I said. It started because he's saying every girl out there has great tits. And I'm oh, like, no, oh, no, I, no we, we got into the Great Rack Debate. I yeah. remember that was the title of the chapter, as a matter of fact. The Great Rack Debate. <laughs> yes. So we got into discussion of uh, nice boobs versus those are great tits. So like we we've decided that uh, who is it? Lady Gaga has she's got nice, nice. Tits, nice tits, but a great rack like Natalie Allen Lind or the girl from uh, Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Oh, I remember yes. when I said that. I yeah. yeah. I said but do you notice that uh, Red said the same shit? They throw this at you in the first episode, so all of the men in the audience are like, "I'm in," yeah. and then there's nothing else. They roped you right not in, even, not and they even knew the other characters show tits. They knew how to do it upset. too. I was like, "This is fucked up." Yep. I was expecting at least tits once an episode. every other episode, at least something. At least five times for the season. No. <laughs> Did I wrong? And I heard it didn't happen at all in season no. two. No. Fuck. I saw the whole second season. I, I didn't see it yet. <laughs> they upstate in a camp in a fucking plenty of plenty of time. Wait a minute to, to get topless. Jewish people that. are in a camp. Yes. That doesn't sound good at all. Oh, that's Jesus. The, that's the migration. That's, yeah, that sounds yeah. about right. It they, still they doesn't sound that. good. They show that. <laughs> what? I think that makes five tonight. So. Yeah, no, <laughs> you should just keep a tally. Yeah, I totally am. We're at five right now. <laughs> oh, and I've only just started drinking. <laughs> Dijon Venny. Ah, Pete, don't worry about that V.I. Pete guy. By the way, if you, if you missed last week, uh, V.I. Pete, that's just a great Instagram handle. And... I'm a little jealous I didn't think of it first. Because you, sir, are the MVP uh -oh. of... That's that's dope. <laughs> I'm going to just, like, I'm going to try to secure that. You're breaking shit now. <laughs> I'm going to just try to secure that Instagram handle, like, while I'm at it. Somebody did it already. I did, I did it right now. I'm just like, <laughs> fuck you, asshole. <laughs> Great show as always. I would love drunk food reviews, and I would watch comic poker like how other people watch professional poker. I think both of these have to happen as at the very least Pete's Basement extras. Son of a bitch. Yeah, a long list of yeah man. Damn it. Well, I just have to stick with Pete from Pete's Basement. Uh, yeah. Like, the, the food that you heat up in the microwave at, like, 3 o'clock in the morning when you're, like, not even taking the time to heat up an Elio's properly. You're just microwaving <laughs> the shit out of it until it's nuclear and bubbling. And you're just like, <laughs> and it's burning the roof of your mouth. So you're getting, like, little skin shavings right on top of the mozzarella. Oh Delicious. God. I've seen him eat when he's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> there's, no, there's not a lot of breathing going on. No, there's not. It, it's... This all stemmed from a couple of weeks ago when Hannah brought over some sort of Brazilian lasagna. I don't know. I don't remember it being here. But apparently I ate it. <laughs> and I devoured it. Because he texts me the next day like, yo, you okay, bro? Like, I ain't never seen you get drunk that fast. And I said, it's because I didn't eat dinner. He said, well, you tore through that lasagna. I said, lasagna? What lasagna? What lasagna? <laughs> 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 he was like, yo, you don't remember? I was like, nah, man, I would think I'd remember lasagna. Mm -hmm. But apparently, I critiqued the motherfucker. Did. And that's how we got on the idea of drunk food reviews. That's funny. Yep. So that, that might happen. And the uh, comic book poker actually stemmed from my boy Demetrios at Anyone Comics, who just celebrated two years over on Union Street. Congratulations, D. And uh, I, he had brought up as a joke, like, people wagering... Like CGC comics yeah, instead of poker chips. That's too much. Like I'll I'll see your Incredible Hulk 181 9.4 and oh, raise you a uh, you know an Amazing Fantasy 15 4.0. Like you, you, you people get shot oh, wait, for that. Yo. Like worse than regular poker. Yeah, people like, would oh, watch that though. <laughs> oh yeah, you got it. We have the movie where people breaking into that joint and just robbing everything. Damn right. Also, too bad. Powers. So we got on the subject of uh, stupid mutant useless, powers. Useless, loop, useless mutant useless powers. powers yeah. uh, you eat but never have to go to the bathroom. Where does it go? That seems pretty useful. Like, if you want a date, you want that power. I'm just saying. 
My bowels is loose, son. I gotta take pills. Like, if I'm going out or something, I gotta make sure nothing's happening here. Long movies like Endgame. Long movies like Endgame. Act like I didn't take one today just to make sure I'm leaving work 5, 6 o'clock. I gotta fucking be out until 10 o'clock. I don't wanna leave the movie theater, go to the bathroom. I wanna make sure I'm good. I'm good till, like, tomorrow afternoon now. <laughs> Fuck that, yo. That's just dedication. Damn. There was a woman who wore a diaper on her way to go kill her husband because she didn't want to stop. I remember that. that that's... Yeah. Yeah. That's some serious, but you got you got to make sure that nothing leaks out because that's evidence. <laughs> that's bodily fluids. Yep. <laughs> you thought about this. Yes, I have. Are you asking me if I've thought about killing people and the ways to get away with it? <laughs> no, never. Two, you always know what time it is. I have a phone and a watch. That's useless, man. <laughs> that is pretty useless. <laughs> you just know. <laughs> Yo, one time I actually succeeded completely in telling time by looking at the sun. I, <laughs> my girl, we was on the beach. My girlfriend was like, yo, what time is it? And I look up, I was like, it's 4.58. And she's like, get the fuck out of here. And she takes her phone out of her bag and it is 4.58. She's like, how the fuck did you do that? I was like, part of it was luck. But part of it, like, you you fucking know where the sun's at, man. I mean, you don't have to be a 10th a degree Boy Scout. Like, Penny knows how to do it. Why am I not surprised? And Absolute said, I'd hate the power where I couldn't get drunk. Yeah, like, if you were Wolverine or the Flash, that would suck. Captain That's Captain America, too, right? Yeah, him, too? Yeah. That sucks, man. Yeah, fuck that power. Reality is a... <laughs> <laughs> I don't like reality, man. I'm I'm out. <laughs> Try me, yo. Pour me one. Excellent. <laughs> reality is a crutch for people who can't handle drugs. Remember that. <laughs> what is whiskey bitters and what? Vermouth. He said that it sounded really. I don't got nothing to turn it over in now, so I just got to agitate it a little bit. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Ugh. Hey, where was we? Rob Wise Guy 82. LOL, that was pretty damn funny, Pete. I haven't seen you lit like that in a while. <laughs> I was pretty lit, yo. I did the editing on that, and I'm sitting there like, I'm drunk. I'm fucking drunk. <coughs> uh, and as far as uh, we was asked by, I think it was Absolute, how do we, what uh, Stephen King stories would we like to see adapted? Yeah. He said, The Long Walk. It's a short by Stephen King. I, I'm not familiar with that one, wow. but if it's a short story, I'm in. I Because King gets very wordy about things that don't need to be wordied about. So I'll read a short story. And uh, The Tommy Knockers. Was that a film or was did they never do that I one? I think it was a series. That sounds okay. familiar. Uh, I never read that book actually. I know I, I should. Uh, I like to do audio books in case anybody's curious. I never have no time to read, and if I read too many words in a row, I get sleepy. It's true. Uh, Matt McIntyre. Oh, here's a good one. Uh, when bringing home comics on the train. Do you guys go together, and what kind of obstacles do you have to overcome considering how many books you pick up a week? Because when I get my 80-plus books, just getting to the car without the bag handle breaking is a contest. All right. Uh, we have actually started comicsology in a lot of books simply because everybody's pretty much got an iPad, and it's just much easier to just download the shit. It's like the same price for the comics, and you can just browse through them like this. And I don't take my iPad out on the train because that's just asking for the shit to fall down and break. Uh, as far as train books go, I'm maybe picking up an eighth of what we actually read during the week. Uh, these are books that I want to actually have in my collection like G.I. Joe, Spider-Man, The Punisher, and maybe a couple of interesting number ones and stuff that are running around. Detective 1000, I'll definitely be getting. Royal Co that's Royal soon, right? That's yeah. uh, like two weeks, weeks, I think. Yeah. Two weeks? World Collectibles doing that midnight release. I might yeah, be interested in that. Week. And actually, if you are in the uh, New York area, my homegirl Kayla Valerio, uh, that's Kayla Valerio Art on Instagram, she's doing a signing, uh, a Captain Marvel print, on March 16th from 1 to 4. And all of the proceeds go to a charity. 
and I'm hard pressed to remember what charity that is, but it does go to a good cause. So if you're in the area on Saturday, Whatever. just head over to Royal Collectibles. Royal yeah. Queens. So I'm I'm gonna head over there and take some pictures and maybe pop up some Instagram stories and stuff. And yo, have you been enjoying the Instagram stories? I've been trying to pop up like funny memes and shit lately because I noticed like people really interact with the stories and stuff. And we have never really done that before, so trying to get at it, you know, trying to learn this whole social media thing. It seems to not be going away. Hey, you kept putting up the, the smart to girls ink. Girls there ink. Go. There we go. Thank you. Good looking out, Liz. The smart weather was fucking funny. That shit was Lousy smart weather. <laughs> um, but as for what kind of obstacles do we have to overcome? You have smelly homeless people. You have smelly hipsters who don't shower because reasons. I don't know what they Just are. Getting a seat gotta suck. I never get a seat. I don't I'm even try to. So you reading, standing up, holding on. My ideal thing. spot is the center door between the cars. If I can get there, I put my bag between my legs, and there's not usually too many people around me. Okay. I don't like to be by the doors because chance they're gonna open yeah, no. eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't like it. And yeah, you can't read on the pole like this. Yeah. Like so, if I can get that spot. I'll do it. Otherwise, I I like to, if I'm, when I say my train reads and I'm reading on the train, I'm on the platform waiting for the train. But when the train comes in, yeah, yeah. right back yeah, in the bed. with people moving around. Yeah, it's too much. I can't imagine. And I don't, like, if I'm buying this, I want it to remain in good condition so I don't need people banging into the mm-hmm. shit left and right. But bar none, the worst obstacle of all on the New York City transit system is Showtime! Showtime! Yo, I want to grease the poles. I, I, I should have took a picture, but I saw like a sneaker print on the ceiling. Oh, <laughs> nice. And I was like, oh, there was a showtime here not too long ago. Uh-huh. Like, I want to grease the poles. Every time I see these motherfuckers, and they be, I mean, they do some cool ass stunts, but I'm not in the mood at 6.30 at night. I'm trying to go home. And they're like, sir, could you please move? And I'm like, no, motherfucker, there's nowhere to move. <laughs> go the fuck away. Why don't you do that shit on the fucking platform? Do some break dancing. I don't want to see you fucking monkeying around on the goddamn rafters of a train car. But I will say that my favorite is when they come out and say, when they come out and they're like, don't worry, oh, no six. one will get hurt. And I'm like, oh, Yeah, until oh, you take a boot to the face. Somebody catches yeah, that they, quick they fucking guile kick. What was that shit? The fucking close. sonic kick or whatever the fuck? Whatever it is. <laughs> Blade kick, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kyle and Charlie. Yeah, yeah. Thomas Hole. Fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Thomas Hole. Justice. Wow. Yeah, that was the triple one. I would fucking punt a kitten to be able to do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, he didn't say puppy, so. No, yeah. Yo, what did I say the other day? Oh, man, I'm a horrible human being. I, w- I wish death upon people for the mildest of infractions. No. Oh, I do. I do. I mean, and like, see, now your reaction was pretty much the same as most of the crew on the, uh, on the text message. And Greg was like, damn, Pete, that's dark. And I'm black. Like, that's dark. <laughs> and I was like, yo, but bro, why? I, I ju- it's like? just like, she's just a human, for God's sakes. It's not like I wished it on a puppy. Yeah. Because dogs hold a higher level in my eyes. I, I, I will see you there. Yeah. Okay. I will never wish harm on an animal. I might wish the animal eats the human. That's about as far as it goes. But whatever the infraction, it's really it's hardly ever the animal's fault. Sometimes the animal gets a <clears throat> pop in the fucking head because discipline. But, you know, it's not with my important. fist. It's important. That's, you're yeah. something that can outrun you, has a stronger jaw lock. Than Everything. You. The, 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 the animals it's will kill DNA. you. Yeah. yeah. Like, if you took a Rottweiler and didn't train it correctly, you've got a monster in the Yes. Mouth, so. It's like, you know, you take three fingers. My father used to call this a dap. Whenever you did something stupid, you get a dap on the forehead. The animal does something stupid, dap them. <laughs> they understand. You're the master. You're not hurting them. They're going to look at you funny. But they're going to be hurt by the fact that you've struck them. We started out by talking about how do you transport your comic books. I'm just... (laughs) That being your fucking dog. Normally I would use a paper towel rack. Like with the paper towels. And it makes a really satisfying pathak sound because it's soft. And the animal looks at it like... 
<laughs> yeah, they're they're offended. Like, what did I do? Like, well, maybe you shouldn't have bit the fucking sofa in half, Rover. Can I say this: we have a pet bird. He can be such a dick sometimes. <laughs> He's just a bird, but like, yo, if fuck I... that bird, yo. <laughs> but no, but like, I don't know how to be like, hey, don't do that. So like, he like fucking peck your after... eyes out. Yeah, he like, I had, I was fixing his food, and he like pecked at me really hard, and I got so pissed. That I flicked. I was about to say flick his ass. Yes. So I flicked him. <laughs> and I've never heard a bird cry in my life until that moment. Like, and what did they sound like? like I, did it cry or was it was like? It, it was like that. It was like, like, oh, I'm so Wait, well, how did it sound? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but it was so. It was like the cutest little whistle of a whimper. Quitting like that. You go like that. <laughs> but he, you know, he still does it. The little shit, but it's alright. Yeah, flick him a couple more times. I bet you he learns. Spray bottle. No, I feel like... Waterboard the bird. Yes! I'm fucking him up, yo. I'm gonna get a super soul. I'm gonna be like... He just kind of like takes it like a bath. You have a look for them shits on eBay again? Stupid expensive. Yeah. They were like the ultimate mortar guns. Yeah. Those shit. Especially the fucking crazy ones with the backpacks. No, I'm not trying to fucking kill him, yo. It's torture. Horrendous. My son's bird. I don't want to traumatize. Is it, is the bird new? Because I don't remember seeing the bird from before. Like Since July. I, no. Okay, so fairly new. When we got back from the wedding. So August. August. All right, so fairly new though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But okay. He's awesome. He. I mean, I said he's a Fuck dick. Awesome. He is a dick. But our son has better control over him. So like, our son will open the cage. Yeah, and he feeds him every day. I, I, I totally do it. Yeah. He feeds him on his head. Yeah. He'll, I seen uh, the videos of the bird out. on his head. He'll hang yeah. out with, yeah. with, with the with the oldest. Yeah, he'll, he'll, he's cool with you. He'll look at me and he'll be like, yo, what's up? I'll fucking eat you, stupid bird. What's the bird's name? <laughs> You're eating, we can't Octo. torture. Octo? Yeah. That's what, that's what happens when you let a seven-year-old name. Uh, there man. were so many. Possibilities? Yes, and we decided Octo was the least. Stupid? Yes. Yeah. No, it was up there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I got nothing. It stuck, though, because when he said I had the same face. I'm like, Octo. I mean, was Stratos ever his considered? Full, his full name is Octo Bird. Octo Bird. We had a I feel like he should have eight wings. <laughs> yes. We had a friend come over and she got kind of, you know, lit with us. Uh-huh. Tonight, oh, and yeah. Is what she like, said. <laughs> our son goes to put him back. He goes, good night, Octo Bird. And then when she was leaving, she was like, good night, Optimus Prime. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's great. That reminded me of another stupid story, but I'm going to save it until I get a diff- different segue. Reading Marvel Comics taught me a lot of things growing up. What life lessons, if any, have Marvel Comics taught you? That's, yeah, that's, that's deep. Respect the colors. No, I'm kidding. Trends are stupid. Trends are stupid. But I mean, she collecting the nineties, all the trends we saw. I'm like, this is stupid shit. shit. Even when you liked them at first, there was something bad about them. I'm going deeper into that though. Like, like your heroes teach you the right thing to do. They teach you how to be heroes. They teach you how to be good people. You know, even so much as just holding the door. For somebody, or you know, you see a woman going up the stairs with a baby carriage, like, Miss, can I help you a little bit? And I did that shit, and of course, I regretted it. It threw my back out. It hurt for four days, but I got the kid up the damn stairs. I couldn't draw, like, <laughs> drop the fucking kid, hurt and just him and the mother to go down this goddamn stairs. <laughs> like, <gasps> you could have, you chose not to, though. <laughs> I did, because what would Spider Man do? Power of responsibility, yeah. Exactly. You know, they, I mean, they teach you to be good people, and at the same time, the villains teach you sometimes how to be awesome people. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, if I had my choice, whether I want to be Spider-Man or Doctor Doom, I'm going to take Doctor Doom. Fucked up face and all. Why? Because he's got magic and tech. What Spidey got but a fucking dead uncle and some, <laughs> <laughs> and some web shooters. <laughs> That's what the comics taught you. That's what they taught me. I had a little bit of dinner, so like, I mean, I'm good still. That's your first class? That's your first glass? Pardon me. Yeah. No, I'm just in a good mood. 
Yeah, I could tell. <laughs> and I'm going to run upstairs and get the other bottle of whiskey soon. Yeah. That is the correct answer. <laughs> you finish your drink? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, Absolute said, worst powers involve growing your fingernails, lifting no more than 50 pounds. That would suck. The ability to summon one 16.9 ounce bottle a day. Wait, what? I don't know. What was that Is one? that the exact measurement of like a wine bottle or something? Say it again. The ability to summon one 16.9 ounce bottle a day. That seems like it could come in handy though. Like, I God. Think yes. Check the water. What's that? That's 16, a 16 bottle. 16.9. Ho! That's a six. That's useless. Yeah, then. I don't need that. <laughs> once a day? Yeah. I mean, what if you on, was in the on desert? On the man, though? on the man, I'll be like, yeah, I'll fuck with that. Bro. If you were in the desert, that would be pretty useful. Yeah, you good. Like, you would definitely be the most popular person. No, not for one bottle. I mean, what, what if you was in the desert? Not with everybody. We're talking anything. One bottle, right? one Any, day will be two people could share that liquid, bottle over the course of like four days. That's sixteen. Uh, what is it? Sixteen point nine. Yeah, dude. In the desert? Huh? Are you just what? not aware of how to survive in the desert? We're having like five different it's conversations. Hot. There's a problem. Yeah, these, two, these two are arguing that they. Ramon is clearly gonna get eaten in the desert because like he doesn't know how to survive. He don't have know how to ration. I, yeah, I, I like, obviously well, do not know how to fucking ration. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying. <Yeah. laughs> One bottle of water for four days between me and you? Fuck yeah, he that. He kills like four of them in a, in a show. Yeah, but I, that's because they're here. If they weren't so readily available, I think his mindset would change. No, how does that We work? should just kidnap you and down. leave you in the desert all alone and see like how long, if you survive. Yeah, yeah which one of you motherfuckers going to pick me up? Ball. Let's see how that works out. <laughs> I think Red Knight could definitely get you up. I go fire mine, carry you. <laughs> he wants to try it. He has that glow in his eyes. I want to try it. I, Yo, I, I did it with somebody he, bigger than me. And I, I was, was going to say, he's thinking back to his sanitation test when like, <laughs> they made us carry some shit. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, so why does after movie pizza seem like the best pizza? Because pizza. pizza. <laughs> There's never a bad time for pizza. Ever. Seriously. There's no bad time for any kind of pizza except pineapples. Yes. Whatever. Just saying. It's gross. It's true. My sister went to visit my nephew, my cousin who was in the hospital. Uh-huh. And that's when she brought me um, LMBs at a night. Nice. Oh, that's why you had. Mm. No, no, no. If I would have gone personally, I would have gotten you half a drink. Thank you. Yeah. That's, that's what it is. Yeah. yeah. I'm still waiting. Yo, they opened up a Roses on Bedford Avenue. That's <gasps> the one with the raviolis on the pizza. Bedford and what? I don't know. I tried to find it the other Wait, day. Where's Roses? Roses from Metro from Fresh Yes, Park? That's right there on um, yeah, Metropolitan between Havemeyer and Meyer at, on my way. Really? It's on Metropolitan yeah. or Bedford? No, it's on Metropolitan. I must have walked right past Metropolitan it. Metropolitan and Havemeyer? Between Havemeyer and um North Fourth or or that Roblin? Roblin? Marcy. And Marcy. Huh. The newest piece of joint I know of on Bedford is Champion. I don't know. It's pretty good. I, this is a picture I put it on Oh, okay. Facebook. All right. I just want to try the ravioli vodka slice. That's all I care about. Yeah, dude. And life. That's so awesome. Good. I love awesome vodka. ravioli. Dude. Yeah. Jenny loves Rose Roses got fucking dope specialty pizzas. Yes, yeah. they do. Question. Yes. Pesto or vodka sauce? <sighs> vodka sauce I go with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got to be in the mood for pesto. Yeah. I and for might I add, I some of these fucking hipster asshole chefs oh want to start throwing <laughs> around other green <laughs> shit and calling it pesto. Oh, Not shit. fucking happening. There's no such thing as an asparagus pesto sauce, you fucking cocksucker. I saw that. Go I back saw that. to whatever fucking square state you came from. <laughs> pesto is made with basil, and that's it. You fuck. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I will. I'll fucking walk in your restaurant and throw tomatoes for my own goddamn garden at you, you fuck. Beat gardens. Beat no, gardens. Beat gardens. Beat gardens. That's where he fucking gets all that shit out. Yeah, man. I just. <laughs> Water and shit. Plant the yeah. shit down. We're coming back in the Plant summer. tomatoes. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna shoot in the yard. Yo, I'm getting ready I'm to get, plant soon. I can get you compost. I might. Yeah, I don't. That would help. <laughs> Because honestly, my pepper plants is just like, they, I don't know, they're fucking retarded. They just never grow right. Eight? Ramon's reaction to the 
Yo, I plant the pepper plants at like when you're supposed to, and I don't know, like fucking April, May, and them shits don't start sprouting until July, and they grow until oh, November. Shit. I'm like, you guys are Peace stupid. Pepper plants. <laughs> Ooh, the triple P. Hello, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. <laughs> there we go. It's in the rhyme, cuz. Useless powers, the ability to tell <laughs> when vegetables are not ripe. You only, you don't ever know when they, when you should pick them. You just know when you're not supposed to pick them. <gasps> that does suck. That's, That's fucking suck. useless. That is. I'm gonna reward myself with the damn comic book. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most bizarre gift you ever received? All right. You did Absolutely. this last week. Did we? Yeah. We talked yeah. about this? Did we give answers? I don't yeah, know. You had a fucking movie or some oh, shit. It was like a... Oh, movie. yes. My friend gave me a fucking depressing ass movie for my birthday. <laughs> Thanks for the reminder, cuz. All right. Why don't we read some shadow bombs then? Right. Yeah. What? The first one part is... Oh. Taskmaster will be in Black Widow film. Oh, so he really Wait, did, what? Taskmaster is the villain in the Black Widow film. Oh, he's in it. Very that's, interesting. That's, that's for real? For real? Well, it's, it's it's from the shadow, so we oh. you know things could change, but this is what that we. Black Widow movie's coming out like in two years, right? Something like that, yeah. And at this point, Emma Watson is in the running oh, to be uh, Yelena. A good fit I for something know. like that, right? Yeah, oh, yes. that's awesome! Oh, that's it. Especially if they utilize yeah, all of his powers. Use him for what he's good at. Shit. Oh, that's dope. He was the man at Marvel Capcom. Yeah. Is all I have to say. <laughs> All right, um, just a confirmation that we bombed Arrow ending after the next season, like, several weeks ago. Which, yes, we talked about that, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe the beginning of February or so. Yeah, we like talked about. ago. Mm -hmm. And now it has come to light, and just to recap, for anybody who was not paying attention for the last two days, uh, the next season of Arrow will be the last one. It will be a shortened season of ten episodes. We're going to get through Crisis on Infinite Earths, or whatever it's called, and then we're going to end that series, but... Stephen Amell himself has said that it's probably not the end of the character or his stint as the character, and we bring you to another bomb from the shadow. This is a three-prong bomb. Oh, shit. There are three different shows that WB is deciding on for which the future of Arrow will take place. One, The Longbow Hunters is the R-rated DC Universe streaming channel bombed by Pete last month. This will feature Stephen Amell with a group of fellow archers set years from now with an older Oliver Queen. It also has another tentative title, The Outsiders. Nice. Mm. They've been pushing that older, older audience, too. Yeah. Second, sense. Green Lantern, Green Arrow. With John ah. Diggle as John Stewart. Say, I'm with this. The only issue with is interference from DC films. But DC films suck balls. Series? series on DC, uh, DC Universe. It's a series in the, their app, right? Their yeah. streaming app? Honestly, it's all going to the app at this point. Yeah. Once Arrow leaves the airwaves of CW, it's going to the DC streaming app. We the just quality don't know. has gotten way better yeah. from Titans, which you could just tell like they were like struggling financially, to like Doom Patrol, which is just I'm loving Doom Patrol. Yeah, it's good. Nice. And third option is Brave and the Bold. Green Arrow with a rotating cast of superhero guest stars. See now that's cool. That is cool. And we could also get John Diggle in there. I just want hot chicks. I know you do. But well, listen, Felicity's never taken a top off. She's got no tits anyway. Kill her off. Kill her off. <laughs> oh, I love killing off characters. Not before she at least has a post-shower ass scene. She does have a great ass. She does. She does. Yeah. Just saying. Wait. What? If anyone's gonna judge ass, I'm yes. sorry. It's what? gonna be red. What? All right. So how do we? Has, how do we feel know, about? I never, uh, I never paid attention to her. She, she has a good white girl ass, and you have to say that. No offense to the white girls out there. But Some white girls are evolving. But that, that already, evolving. you saying that already yeah. puts me in a zone where, okay, she All right, can I just, category. Can I, stress I can't compare one, her. Can I stress one major thing? Yes. She's not Brie Larson. Okay. Because that poor girl yeah. has yeah. Nacetol. <laughs> yeah. Even though she has decent boobs. She does have, she, uh, Brie Larson has a great rack. I agree. I'm sorry, I think For her size. Great rack. I think she We're not saying she's not how we just specifically but about she has, or lack thereof. Did you see the memes with Tom Holland? Yes. How disturbing up. is that? I was fucked up. I hate it. I can't unsee that. I hate it looking at that. Yeah. Tom Holland. I was like, this is fucked great. up. But you know what? Tom Holland is a gymnast. Yeah, we're. You know what I mean? Like, well, that is also true. You gotta get her to do some squats, yo. But I mean, like, this poor girl looks like she's fucking taking a hit of Nacetol every day. And in case nobody knows what that means, it means no ass no at ass all. No ass at all. 
Yeah, Jason likes, I mean, Fred likes women with butts so big. They know his real name. It's okay. You don't have. But yeah, Fred likes, you know, when you can see it from the front. As, you know. Well, she doesn't have that. Please. This, Please. This, this, this Please. I'm fine for you real fast. Wait, who is that? I thought that was Brie Larson. <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit. No. That's Felicity. She's cute. Let me, yeah. Let me, let me she got some curves. I guess it's crazy. Exactly. It's not crazy. So it, it, it's... Chick who plays Quake? But you see her legs? Because she works out hard. She got nice legs. You yeah. Got cast. She works out like him, Stephen Amell. He has the whole cast doing... I'm with the whole CDS from the front thing because I'm always fascinated with boobs that can be seen from the back. Oh, like uh, Alexandria Daddario, they they just come out so far that you yeah, can she, just she's, see them. She's the girl from True Blood, uh, not True Blood, uh, True Detective, True Detective season one. Yes. yes, 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 yes. He's seen the important she was parts. In the first two episodes, right? Yes. Uh, Bill? No. Of True Detective. Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. Which is I the important part. Important part. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Please. Yes, sir. Is there more? Yes, there is. Oh, shit. Dun, 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 dun. This guy's my hero. You what? It's kind of pretty good, though, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Oh, okay. Next bomb. Shang-Chi is being planned to appear in a Black Widow film. Cool. Uh, Shang-Chi. Kung Fu guy. Yeah. Right, so, I mean, he was, was basically like, what all of the guys. herbs who didn't know Iron Fist thought he should be. Because all of the fucking people that was like, yo, you're whitewashing a fucking Iron Fist, didn't obviously realize that Iron Fist was always the, the blonde haired white guy. Yeah, yeah. And it was like, he's got to be Asian because that's kind of technically racist too, but yeah. nobody wanted to call them out on that. Only the Asian guy could be fucking a martial artist. Like, but, but listen to what you're saying, Ch- though. Norris. Chuck Norris is awesome and will fucking kick ass. So, the idea of that, like... Does everybody know why Chuck Norris is famous? Does everybody fucking know? It's a white guy that kicks ass. He is a white guy that kicks ass, but do you know whose fucking ass he almost kicked? Bruce Lee? Bruce Lee. Almost. 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 He ha- this was a tournament in Madison Square Garden that Bruce Lee was displaying Jeet Kune Do, which was his, the new style that he had just developed. You gotta get some ice on your own because I don't have any. I'm sorry. No problem. Bruce Lee had just developed Jeet Kune Do and he was displaying it at Madison Square Garden and there was one guy there who held his own against Bruce Lee longer than anybody. That man was Chuck Norris. And at that point, he called his agent and said, whoever the guy you got as the last guy, the boss fight in Return of the Dragon, give him a different role. I have your guy. That's a true story. Also a true story? Um, True story on Pete's basement. When oh, shit, when Chuck Norris man. was born is when the Nazis pulled out of. Yes, <laughs> the day after. That's How's that for fucking coincidence? Yeah, they that's were a like, fact. Oh, you know what? We'll Salute. So I'm hoping a good fight choreography for this movie. Yes. We got any more bombs? It's a good? movie. Yes, we, oh, we got one more. Danny Ketch will be oh, Cosmic man. Ghost Rider in the MCU. What? No! There's a cosmic, I don't want Cosmic Ghost Rider! Cosmic Ghost Rider already? You didn't know what? Oh, no. Yeah. Cosmic Ghost oh, Rider! No! They no. gotta have Ghost Rider first. They gotta have Ghost Rider Thank first. Thank you. Whether on Netflix, on Disney Plus, in a movie, I gotta see I'm Ghost just happy. I gotta see Johnny Blaze. I'm just happy it's not gonna be John Bernthal as Cosmic. Cosmic yeah. Ghost Rider is a joke. Yeah. And I'm not saying he's a stupid so character. Deadpool. He's a fucking joke. So he, Deadpool. The whole character wow. is supposed to be funny. And you know what? It is funny. But it should never be put into the MCU. God, I hope that never happens. And I hope the fucking person who does it yeah, nah, trades stage four pancreatic cancer with Blaze. Alex Trebek. What if? Yeah, but I agree. And by the way, I want to raise a glass to Alex. Yeah. Good, good hey, luck, Alex. man. Good fucking who is luck. Alex Trebek. Who is the man who taught us mad shit that we was never gonna learn in the first a place? Bunch of useless information. And if anybody could beat it, Alex, we know it's you. You got this. Shit. Good luck, man. We love you. Yeah, no, no cosmic ghost writer on no. TV, film, anything. Not. What if not it's for like another ten years. What if it's an alternate? I don't, don't want to fucking deal with alternate universes. I don't want to deal with it in any Cause, MCU. Because no. him in the comic books was just like a spin-off joke. Yeah, that's all it was. No it was reason for him to take him serious. Which is a great fucking segue he's into like the Silver Surfer, right? He's like a fake Silver Surfer. Yeah, he, he but I saw. Yeah, he's a Herald he of Galactus. 
And then he get, got a cosmic power cosmic from Galactic. He's a fake, uh, like, Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of thing. That's so what I figured. That's why I didn't bother That's what that they're shit. doing now. And it, you know what? I read it, and I was genuinely surprised with it was a decent fl- a decent book. No, it wasn't. Before the bombs, oh, can I blow up uh, Greg's course. shit? Yeah. yeah. Greg from Breaking Nerd News. Shout out to Greg. He talks about the Disney Plus and what to expect. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where is it? He's waiting for confirmation, but as of now, Disney Plus is going to debut on November 15th at a ten ninety nine pricing. Damn, shit got back far. Like, it was supposed to be January, then March, yeah. now it's November? Well, look what it's coming with. It's going to have the entire Disney catalog, as well as Touchstone Pictures, all the fucking animated Marvel, the Marvel archives, including the X-Men animated series, the right. Spider-Man animated series. All the Spider-Mans Everything. or like just the 90s Whatever shit? Whatever was on Fox. Well, everything that was on the 90s. No Whatever shit. Fox owned. We got like Spider-Man and his amazing friends too and the yes. Spider-Man series before. Oh, man. All right. Yeah, we love so Spider-Man. they're going like the Disney route. Like the, not the, I'm sorry. They're going the DC mm-hmm. route. We're getting all of the, the previous Everything. shit. And every single Disney film ever will be available. So the whole Disney That's vault great. is going to be non-existent anymore. That's about it's time. Be available. Whatever movie you want to watch. I don't mind if they take that time, like November. Because the DC <laughs> Universe website is a little funky to maneuver. And... Yeah, and it's still not available on like my Xbox or something, yes, right? They yeah. Got- PlayStation 4, yeah. not happening. You know Disney's not fucking around. They no, have that go. day one available on your iPad, your Google. Fucking oh, get you'll be able to get that shit on an Amazon yeah. Kindle. I'll get that shit on my microwave. <laughs> well played. <laughs> I just want Moana back. That'd be great. Oh, yeah. Moana was on Netflix. That was our go-to. It was. Moana is fucking amazing. And you know what? When it comes out, you know what you're going to do? Hmm? What can I say? You're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Oh, my God. When we saw that movie the first time... This fucking guy did not stop singing that for like a year. That's a great Shit, fucking. Yo. It's a great movie. Should, it really is. Cosplay as oh one. my god! Please do that. I got shade. No. <laughs> Fuck. Every time I'm like, oh, this would be a great cosplay. He's he's like, I gotta shave. I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> what if you just like cut it like from the oh, no, like, no, and, no, and, no, and then you like no. but you keep it intact when women and then you like glue it back on? Beards, it's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> No, shout out to Greg, yo. That was big news. I was that like, was Shit, big, I'm man. Paying, I'm paying eleven dollars a month for that. Oh, that's, what I'm, that's just for all the I'm thinking stuff. of. Just for the Disney so movies alone it. is worth it. Wait a minute, like if we're let's break this down for Touch a second here. Movies, Touchstone movies, Ducktales, movies, Tailspin, all that shit. Rescue Rangers, Gargoyles. Darkwing Duck, Gargoyles is Disney. Gargoyles yeah. is Disney. Yes. I, I don't know. I thought that was yeah. I thought that was like Channel Wasn't it Eleven. Disney afternoon. I thought that was Channel Eleven. I don't know. Maybe. Okay, maybe. Like I don't know. Oh my God. I mean, because I'm the shit with Ducktales was even if you bought the DVDs, you did not get the original five episode pilot, which is mm. bullshit. <laughs> no, Disney. Oh, Ducktales. Oh, Ducktales. No, that's the networks is on. Every uh, day it's on they're the network, out there but making I don't know if Ducktales. The, the right Disney. Oh yeah, the and guy. The and brother, it was like the crazy said. dog guy who was like obsessed with the gold, and then the whole mountain collapsed on. And he's like, "No, I want to dig up the gold." And he's like, "Just fucking digging like a dog in the dirt," <laughs> and they just leave his ass yeah, there. He had a crazy Hispanic name too. It was a little stereotypical, but whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, Pete never saw gargoyles. I never saw gargoyles. I'm sorry. Shame. Shame. Doesn't it scream him? Gargoyles is your spirit animal cartoon. I know. Dude, and I didn't get the Funko Pop of Brooklyn because I didn't feel like I deserved it. Mm. Understandable. I got Bronx. Nice. We have Brooklyn. No. We got Bronx. We have in front Lexington. of Bronx. Yeah, whatever. We have, we have Bronx, Bronx and Goliath. Goliath and Demona. If I, they Demona's have Eliza, awesome. That bitch. I mean, um, She's Detective Mazda. Mm-hmm. Mazda? Mazda. Mazda. Not Mazda. It's Mazda. They should do a live action Gargoyles. And the chick, Madani, should play Demona. Oh. Ooh. Who's Madani? From Punisher. From Punisher. Amber Rose Reva. So hot. She Want to touch name? the hiney? She's another one that lost a great car. Her car was gorgeous. Yes. Uh huh. Could be good. I mean, best car in show I mean, is supernatural. It'll all be sorry. CGI, but it it's a good. fucking '68 Impala, man. How about um John Wick's car? Mm. What is it? The Mustang? I don't remember. Look, I love Mustangs. I'm a Ford guy, and that Impala will tear the shit out of that Mustang. I'm sorry, it will. I'm sorry. You, 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 yeah, you're talking about a fucking 150 different horsepower. It's just a difference of 150 horsepower, easily. And that's saying it's it's stock. But it never is stock. Ever. <laughs> this is why Pete never hit a lot of them. 
Oh yeah. Did you see that guy who did hit the lotto for two hundred and like thirty nine million? He was like, I've been a bum all my life. <laughs> and I always dreamed about waking up one morning and being able to go wherever the hell I wanted, and I can finally do that. Good for you, bro. Like, right. you were so honest, and yeah. the one, right. like, he was like, listen, I've never done shit with my life. And I'm right. like, yeah. So I'm going to start now. I'm gonna start you know who my now. hero was, though? The dude when they was doing the fucking interviews for the lottery. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do if you win? It's like a bunch of hookers and cocaine. <laughs> I was like, that is the first honest man in showbiz. <laughs> yes. All right, let's 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 go back to some fucking comics here. Uh, we had previously segued into uh, Ghost Rider destroys the Marvel history, and this book was better than I thought it was going to be. It wasn't good, it that was, good, okay, okay. but it was better than I thought it was going to be. Specifically, the part where he's as Frank. Dealing with his family the day before they died. And that was cool. Because like, right. yeah. if you could go back in time, if you could go traveling, you know, through the fucking time fields and whatnot, mm-hmm. and you were Frank Castle, this is where you would go. You would go to save your family. Absolutely. No, no he didn't go to save his family. He, that's why he's there. He's just there the day before. And he's going to, and he says in the book, I'm going to try to save them. Or he says, I'm going to try to stop them from going. It's like one of the last pages, and then he encounters Uatu, and he's like, do you want to know what I think, Frank? And he's like, go the fuck away, dude. I'm not here to hear what you have to say. I'm here to save my family. He needs to save Uatu. And he's there, like, talking to his wife, and his wife looks at him like, he's made old now. You know, he's like, looks like he's 60, 70 years old. And she's like, Frank? And he's like, stupid. You should have known she would recognize you. And I was like, all right, that was cool. And he had to play it off like he was his uncle from, like, you know. Oh, uh, my God. And she, she's like, oh, well, Frank never really mentioned an uncle. And he's like, yeah, Frank likes to keep things compartmentalized. And I'm like, all right, you're like, you, yeah, you, you can play it that. off because you you're him that. and you know how he thinks mm-hmm. and everything. So I, was like, I enjoyed that interaction. And I enjoyed the fact that this is not... Just a Deadpool kills XYZ again. This is just him telling his son the story of how he ripped through the Marvel Universe, messing up the history that we know. Yeah. And I'm okay with it. Like, it's it's a story. It's it's a it's a third-person story. You know, it's, a, it's an omnipresent story where you're looking back on it. You're not watching it happen. So you, I think you have less to complain about. And he's just, like, telling his kid a story. And you know it's not going to stick. This, this is not going to be canon at all. So you might as well just see how Cosmic Ghost Rider could possibly fuck things up. And just see, like, have some fun with it. And they try to be funny. They do. They, they try. You know, it, it hits on a couple of points. Yeah, because you're biased. I am, but I'm not biased toward this Frank. I'm not. I was. I never read. This is the first Cosmic Ghost Rider shit I've ever read, because I did not read that Thanos in the Future book when he first appeared. That I did. I know good. you. That I know right. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. liking it. I remember that. Yeah, you guys like kind of enjoyed it, and I told you I was like, I'm not reading it because I'm not dealing with just more Marvel nonsense. Yeah. And yeah, I just I I I enjoyed this enough. To see it through, I don't know. Like, what is it going to be? Six issues? Five, I think. Five. So what's the difference? Like, normally we mm. give the rule of three. What's another fucking six dollars or nine dollars in the grand scheme of things? I think I need to start doing What can't I get? Is a fucking Happy Meal at McDonald's because they're so expensive now? Like, Happy I, meals are three dollars. Ha- but like the regular meals is like 13. Like what's the, the, the fuck? I was just can't get a bag of weed with $10 no more. Everything's fucking hydro and above. Remember when it was just like Hydro was something special back in the day? I'm just yeah, saying. Back, back when I was a teenager. Yeah. I don't know nothing about that now. Nope. Yeah, we all know. I just drink. And know things. That's it. And I know things. I am the god of tits and whiskey. <laughs> Love it. Says it on the glass. Only Lannister, by the way, but we'll get to that later. We'll get there. I don't know with this. <laughs> 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 So, Domino Hot Shots. The only reason I read this is because it was Gail Simone. Okay, yeah. And I enjoyed this book. I did. I Like, it was just a girl team up. I mean, it, you know, it, it's Captain Marvel week. It's the week of girl power and everything. They introduced an Asian it's women's superhero. History. We got a new... Uh, South, a South Korean... Hey. South Korean broad for fucking... I don't know what the hell they called her. White silk. Fox, some, something. Some yeah, racist whatever, shit. Yeah. Uh, some racist <laughs> shit. <laughs> Nine! <laughs> oh, nine, sorry. Did you guys see the comic 
Mike for Alexandra Ocasio Cortez. Cortez. Yeah. Oh, I did not see Coming it. Out like in May. I try to keep myself away from politics. My politics <laughs> is on YouTube. I think I think not for nothing though. This is one you should invest in because she is the youngest. If she wants to come on the program. <laughs> no, I think any I would love that. Por favor. <laughs> she is the Alexandra, youngest. come on over. <laughs> I mean, she's, she's already making. I, she is very cute. She's already making. She might be the first politician that I could say, "Yo, she's cute." Because <laughs> what the fuck do we have elsewise? I mean, you're grading on a curve, but I mean, otherwise, she's cute though. This is probably not helping our case to get her on the show. As far as politics go, <laughs> she's the cutest one out there. I agree. Absolutely. I agree. What the hell else do we have? Fucking Nancy Pelosi and Hillary Clinton? Oof. Jesus Christ, I'll fucking cut my dick off and donate it to a priest. Oof. What? We are Catholic. <laughs> it was just Ash Wednesday yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, we're going to hell. No, he's going to hell. I'm certainly going to hell. Yeah, because you're... Never mind. <laughs> you know, I signed up to help one of them fucking kids in them third world countries. Oh, so, don't, don't. No, I did. I did. Because, you know, they're kids, man. They deserve a chance. I agree. Where's the butt? So the guy tells me, you know, I, I finished signing up. He's like, yo, man, thanks, man. You, you're like my last my last one. And you're the first guy that actually talked to me since like 6.30. And it was like, I don't know, 9.30, 10 o'clock at night, whatever. He's like just getting off his shift or whatever. You know, one of them guys that circle around Union Square. And he's like, yo, man, you're going to heaven. I said, no, I'm not. <laughs> but I'm gonna I'm just try to get myself a better spot You know Maybe I don't have to be fucking blowing demons And having them come fire ants on my face oh or my something God. Jesus You put some thought into this No that's actually a Louis C.K. joke I can't take oh, credit for that okay, okay. Say what you want about the guy But he was fucking funny He was It was fucking funny You know what's crazy I had a commission I did four glasses with his face With fire ants? Oh <laughs> you should totally put fire ants on it. The border. But yeah, I've got four glasses with this face on it. They paid in full. Never picked them up. Hmm? Just bring happy. them on the show. I should. I totally should. I Honestly, you should mail one to Louie and just fuck this for the fuck of it. Oh my god. Here's your face on a glass, cuz. Hey. Where were we? Alright. Domino's Hot Shots. It was good. It was. I enjoyed it. It was, you it know. It wasn't Book of the Week con- in con- contention. No, but it was. But it was good enough. Way more entertaining than it should have been. Yes. This guy gets infected with like some celestial tech, and as soon and as you knew it, yeah, yeah. If you know Marvel comics, you know you're Kirby. three pages yeah. in. You're like, that's he's that's a celestial. He's gonna be a celestial. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know. Yeah. You know damn well. And then they go and ruin it at the end. It, 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 it. Because the guy escapes and he goes and just be, he's like, I'm going to go be God somewhere else, deuces, peons, and he leaves. And they're like, we got to stop him. And then does somebody get shot or at or something? Or does this guy, he just shows up and starts talking and Domino's like, oh no. And then there's a big ass splash page of Deadpool. And like, <laughs> Why? Like what? And he's like, he's here to stop these women from stopping this guy. Like, who the fuck hired you? <laughs> Why are you here? You're kind of like you. You're kind of ruining a good story. Otherwise, you're ruining okay. a good girl team up. I don't know. I don't know. Did did there need to be a fucking penis running around this book? Did there nope. need to be Deadpool because he's so uber <clears throat> popular? I don't know. It's like they're gonna go kick Wolverine in the next issue. What's up? Uh, that was a mistake. Yeah, that that a whole, lot of levels. That last page took me out of the story. It did too, for me too. And, and it's I'm a not shame. bothering with issues now. Yeah, no, I'm I'm done. And you know, J. Scott Campbell was doing the fucking variant covers of that, and I'm like, ooh, and then I'm like, nah. He's on a roll with covers. I love him. I I gotta limit myself to the Spider Man covers. That that's all I can do because yeah. he just does too many. The X Men ones. Are Yo, the X Men ones are yeah, sick. Like, and the Savage oh, line. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was really cool. Everybody wants, like, you know, all of the, the nerds in the audience want to focus on, like, Rogue and Storm and yes. whomever else it yes. was in yes. the bikinis. But t- can y'all take a look at the T-Rex in the background? Yeah. That and shit was great. That yeah. was dope. Yeah, that's right. It was Shauna. Shauna, yeah. the jungle queen. Right, yeah. And Zabu was the tiger. Why do I know that? I pulled that out of somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> 
Alright, we, we didn't go over it in the beginning of the show, but did you read Age of X-Men, Prisoner X? Like, are you even bothering with this shit? I read it. It's did garbage. You? Move on. It's Bishop, though, right? Oof. It's Bishop. He's locked up. That's so, it? Like, way to go, Marvel. You locked up a black guy. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. It's like, why? <laughs> why? That's, that's original. <laughs> Alright, moving on. <laughs> Yo, how is that, that new Vader book, uh, Dark Visions? Or oh, First of all, do you see the cover? With on a horse. Right, Frank was that his death dealer? Yes, how I did oh, not oh, yeah, miss well, that. It's good. It's not really a Frazetta because Frazetta was the still the, the the horse was still in. No, it, and it, he was the Frazetta ish. All right, ish is very. I won't say not inspired by. Yeah, sure. Um, it's Darth Vader's um land crash landing on a planet after a big ass battle in space, and um he fights this crazy monster, freeing the people of that planet from this evil monster. And it's a crazy brutal fight because his monster is huge. Mm-hmm. Like, it holds him in his hand and everything like that. But Vader's swinging at this shit with the red lightsaber. And this kid's, like, just watching it and, like, praising him and just in awe of him with his red fire sword. Freeing his people from the scourge that is this monster. Even though it's freaking Vader. But, I mean, he's, like, doing a good thing for these people so they don't, they yes. don't know. But the thing is, he's not doing it for them. Right. He landed. This shit opened up and looked at him. And he just stabbed it right in the eye. Big ass battle ensued. That's dope. Yeah. So now we got four more issues of this and just to see what happens. Oh, uh, no, that battle's over. No, but I'm saying it's four yeah. more issues of this series. Yeah. Like to see how he interacts with these people. No, he left the planet. Oh, he left. I think each issue is going to be just visions of Vader. How people oh. see him, how he is in different scenes and stuff like that. Oh, like okay. That. That's fucking cool. Because the last two volumes from um, Mar- Marvel on Vader. They've been 25 issues each. And, and wonderful, even though that last one was a little weird in the end. The whole, you know, I mean, they probably the have like a rich history. Like Vader had what thirty years yeah, as I was say, there's a thirty year gap as the Darth episode three and a New yeah. Hope. Yeah. Did you read the last volume? No. It shows how he got his right red lightsaber. I remember you explained I mean, that on. I remember reading episode. like the first ten in the first volume and thinking, "Damn, this shit is really fucking good." You have to go. You have to fight a Jedi. You have to steal his crystal, and then you have to corrupt it with. The dark side of the dark force. force. Wow, and he just—he's fought a serious Jedi. Like he—he he ended up limping away hard. Nice. Ah, that's cool. Yeah. All right. See, I didn't—I didn't read that. That was all in the second he- uh, volume, right? Yes. All right. See, I finished the first one. I never got to the second one. The first one ended with uh, Doctor Afra, 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 Afra. Yeah, it was like his sidekick, right? No, that was in the first one. Yeah, that's the what I'm saying. One. The first yeah, one ended with so, that, right? Yeah. Then you saw like C three PO and yeah, I'm not reading that shit. Well, she got her own book for that. Yeah, shit. All right, so there's a weird one, but I think it was book of the week. Marvel's Meet the Scrolls. It was. I expected <laughs> shit. Yeah, for real. Because I lost respect for the Scrolls a long time ago. Just, After Secret Invasion. Yeah, and then Galactus ate the planet. And it's like they're nothing. They're not it. They're garbage. But now they're here on Earth. And they're infiltrating different walks of society, and you have this family of scrolls, and you've got a you know a father, a mother, two teenage girls, and they're all infiltrating different walks of life. The father works at stock industries, the mother works for a politician, mm-hmm. uh, the kid and each of the kids work they're, they're trying school, to make friends infiltrating yeah. but like the whether it's the kids of the politician the mm-hmm. kids of scientists or something either way they have to make friends with these certain groups of kids yeah and they all have this mission to make sure that the that this thing called project uh was it pegasus or something something like that yeah something that will um yeah, it's like an early warning system against project that. blossom project yeah. blossom, blossom that was it yeah, yeah. to make like basically the the world is coming up with a method to detect scrolls, and they have to stop it because they said otherwise we'll we'll never be able to be free. We'll never be able to hide, and we're gonna make a new throne world here on Earth. So we, this mission is like uber important. And and then there's one of the girls has like teenage angst. Yep, and uh, it's kind of determined because she grew up on Earth and she was never part of throne world or anything like that. And there's a dumb issue between the wife and um, the husband. The husband's throne world scroll. The wife is um, from a different Outer planet. planet. Yeah. And she's considered a war scroll. She's, she's the leader of the mission. Mm. But he 
is Throne World Scrolls, so it's kind of like people from Brooklyn versus like how do people look from like people from Queens? Like, yeah, eh, eh, yeah, we don't care about you, you know? Like, you're from you're from an outer planet though. Like, you could be leading this mission, but like I'm still the guy, you know? Yeah. And she bitches about this. Like the the head commander, it's like he called you. Yeah, yeah, I'm the me. one in charge of this mission. Mm -hmm. And he's like, yeah, but you know, you know. And she's like, yeah, throne worlders stick together. And there's this one guy who's like going right around bitch. hunting scrolls. Like, oh yeah, we don't know who that is yet. In the beginning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So he's, and he's like not even pulling no punches. He's electrifying yeah, kids he's and everything. Little kid scrolls. I mean, which is fine. Yeah, I mean, whatever. They're little alien <laughs> bastards. Yeah, exactly. This was a good book. I am completely surprised that I like this. Did not think twice about it. Figured I was going to read this and try to, you know, muscle through it real quick. And every page, I, I found myself being more and more interested the in. Good. The art was good. Yeah. yeah. And I, I, I was torn between, am I supposed to root for this crew or not? I'm rooting for like, them. Like, yeah, I kind of am. Go like, evil. Yeah. I mean, they're well, saying, yeah, if this mission, if that mission doesn't succeed, they're fucked. The whole race yep. is fucked. Yeah. Good book. Very good book. Uh, real quick, Dynamite's the $6 million man. I was uber disappointed because I, once again, Dynamite tr throws a ball like and... This? It, no. Why? Because it's it, it's the 1970s version and I'm not interested in that. I, look, I want the... Look, $6 million in 2019 <laughs> is nothing! I understand that, but did you read Dynamite's $6 million man series when they re-upped it? When they redid it for like the modern audience, no. And see, that was really great, and it made total sense. Where they, you know, like, hey, do you hear that sound? You ever watch like Six Million Dollar oh, Man or the Bionic Woman stuff, and shit? Yeah. yeah. And they, they're like, hey, do you hear that sound? And they're like, yeah. And it was the Bionics moving, and that's why people could hear that. <laughs> you know, all of this. And the reason they called him the Six Million Dollar Man was because to run the Bionics cost six million dollars per day. To actually keep him alive and moving. I thought you would love this shit because it's like nostalgia and well not even. No, but about I, that. I, I was never into this. I liked the Bionic Woman, I'm, but I arrived just a little too late yeah. to see the Bionic Man on TV. Jamie Summers was still there, uh, but I never, I never got to actually see the Bionic Man. I like this book. Did you? It was. I am and cute and quirky and fun. He's, this is his first mission. So he's like a virgin. He doesn't know what he's doing, hmm. but his powers just help him get away with a lot of crap. I did not know he shoots a laser out of his damn eye. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> That's how I feel about that. <laughs> it's okay. Hmm. I mean, it, I mean, it isn't going to last long because this is yeah, dynamite. Because it's dynamite. They'll finish it. They'll have <clears throat> 17 variant covers per issue. Yes. And then complain that their sales are tanking. I, I don't understand it. I swear, Dynamite must be run by the mob because how they fucking stay afloat is beyond my comprehension. <laughs> if I'm dead in two weeks, you know why. <laughs> my biggest fear about dropping dead is fucking waking up in another body. I don't, like, oh I don't, God. I don't want to have, like, nah. Like, once I'm done, I'm done. I want to be done. I don't want to see what happens to the Why world. Why would you wake up in another body? Because you never fucking know. Like, you what if somebody you... woke up in your body? No, but, like, when you're, you're conscious now. Like, you you know, like, I don't I don't want to understand what it I is to be it, around, like, fucking 70 what if years it's later. Like not this universe. What if it's an alternate universe? And, like, in that universe, you haven't fucked up yet. No, I don't, I'm not worried about me fucking no, up. It's, it's not, the rest of the world I'm worried about. No, but I mean, like, I nuts. thought about, like, okay, I dropped dead, but then I wake up in, oh, the Lee from another universe who hasn't walked in front of the bus. You know, like, that person. I thought about that. It sounds nuts. Have you, you ever nuts. known sanity to be my strong point? Absolute <laughs> says, don't even dynamite. You books. know me a while now. I get to, <laughs> really. <laughs> Tony Daniel books absolutely reads with the Dresden file books. Mm. Those were good. Dresden was really good. Yes. There's a couple of good Dynamite books. I mean, we don't need to shit on them all the time. It's just that they give us a lot of reason to. <laughs> Dark Horses Frozen Reunion Road. Uh, this was all me. I know. I know. I read I know. it. Oh, but did you like it? Yes. I enjoyed it immensely. <laughs> No, I am looking forward to Frozen more than I am Captain Marvel. The artwork was Why? great. 
Oh, like Frozen I asked two. the one they showed her in the in the previews for the movie. Yes. I was like, why? Who cares about this movie? Why are they making another one? I mean, I know why they making another one because it was it made a lot of money. Really? Yeah. Elsa's hot. That's, that's why. why. Yeah. Hey, that's him. He wants to fuck a cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, when I was six. Ew, <laughs> where? She's a My fish. Face. Where's the joke? There's, the uh, there's a few holes she still running around. Okay, she's the face. face. She's like me. I don't know. I'll find Ears, side. nose. I don't give a <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I was six. I, I would have figured it out. I mean, she has superpowers. <laughs> and the potential for that is awesome. Told you, man. She's fucking taking off her dress, like running into the water. I'm sitting there like, please be in a bikini. Please be in a bikini. <laughs> Could be in a thong. She was not, unfortunately. <laughs> she was sitting she there in like some sort of one piece she with a was dress totally on. Naked though, when she was turned human and then like had to be rushed to the surface, and she did that whole hair flip out of the ocean. They just silhouetted it. Who are you talking so about? Yeah, she's she's talking about Ariel. He's talking, He's talking about, about the little mermaid. My bad. My bad. Okay. Yeah. Uh, He's like Elsa was uh, not. Not, not in the slightest. <laughs> I thought you was having like a Sailor Moon flashback when she <laughs> saw the powers off and shit. <laughs> No, yeah, Elsa yeah was Ariel was butt naked. How many Disney princesses is butt naked in the movie? I think she's the only one that does Ariel. it. Ariel. No. Holla. Mulan does it. I didn't Mulan see Mulan. Mulan does it ah. in the scene she where she's skinny dipping. Ready. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, twice in the movie then. Oh, I gotta see Mulan. I, on Facebook. <laughs> That's me now. Mike That's Stone Disney Plus. Says hi, guys. What's up? And Daniel Blank says, Isekai never really works out. You always have to kill the big bad. And who wants to help humanity? Nobody. I don't want to help humans. I hate humans. You and Daniel can never hang out. No. Bad shit will happen. <laughs> uh, Frozen Reunion Road is a great book. If you're into the series, if you're into the movie, you, you definitely want to read it. If you have kids that are into this, this is a book you could read to them at bedtime. Right. It's fantastic. It and the artwork is great. It matches the series so well. Did you see the short where Elsa gets sick? No. Every time she sneezes, she makes little snowman. Ah, no, I didn't see that. Uh, I gotta, I'm gonna YouTube that like tonight. You know that. Yeah. Yep. So, the space space between comics offers the prison witch. Did you read this? I did. I was. It's one of those things in comicsology. I was like that. That. What'd you think? I loved it. Liked it a oh, lot. I yeah. It. Yeah. I only looked at the first two pages and I was fucking busy running around. Yo, this was really cool. It's really good. Uh, there, there's everything from cursing and tits to fucking magic running around this book. Yeah. Yeah. And people getting, like, shivved in prison. It's basically... Okay, if you if you took Sabrina and Orange, and the Orange is the New Black and you had them have an unholy love child, it is Prison Witch. And it's awesome. It is. It's surprising. It looked, it looked interesting. I just saw like the first two pages. I was like, "Fuck!" I wanted, I wanted to finish reading that before. It's I good shit, and the artwork, even though it's all black and white, is really well done. It is. The That's faces fine. are very good. The yeah. detail, they're pretty. It reminded me of Walking Dead when I opened it. Up. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I could see that. This was a good book. This was almost book of the week. I'm telling you, if not for fucking the scrolls, which was just like a, a I, I think it was book of the week because it was a surprise hit. <laughs> And last but not least on the comics, we have Morning in America. This takes place in the 80s, which I was already into. I liked it. I did. I, and I, I remember this is your book. Because I saw it and I was like, eh. And then I, I read yours and I'm like, mm-hmm. stop playing. This is good. Yeah. This is so you got these four girls who hang out in like middle school slash like... It's, it's like 6th to 8th grade or whatever yeah. in a little podunk ass town. And people are going missing. And it looks like some crazy ass monster creature, like Jeepers Creepers type of motherfucker, is kidnapping Shit. and possibly eating these these people. I'm right with that. And somehow these girls have a reputation of being badass, Which is awesome. possibly selling drugs. And it's up to them to solve the problem because the cops, like they figure out, uh, not that they're in on it, but it, in like a uh, a more Jeepers Creepers kind of mm-hmm. tone. They're like aware of it, and they're like, "Yo, this is this is way bigger than you could possibly imagine." Like the captain is telling the rookie, yeah. like, "Not a rookie, he's like leave ten years alone. on the force," but like, "Yo, leave it the fuck alone." Yeah. Like, there's more to this shit than any of us have any right to know. Shit. So I'm interested. Well, yeah, this came out last week, but it's comicsology, so there's no print. So um, and the girl like tells her friends, like, "Yo, it's up to us," and she's like, "Are you fucking stupid?" <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I'm with it. Yeah, I'm fully with it.
All right. <laughs> Mesa, how are we doing on that uh, Facebook thing there? Uh, we're doing good. Uh, Danny says, I'll be moving like seven hours away from New York in a year or so. Ramon, LOL. Oh, oh Jesus. I'm well, scared. It's a road trip. Yep. <laughs> Somebody got a road trip in mind. <clears throat> We've had worse people threaten to move close to us. It's all right. Please. Yes, sir. That's what I like to see. You a lightweight, yo. Cuz, come on over. I gotta, Thank you, sir. I gotta, well, why don't you grab a chair and let's talk yeah, Captain let's Marvel. Let's okay, let me take a look. Let me slide this over. Absolutely wants to know what would it take for you to build her a flame door. Ooh. Uh, a super oh. soaker, some fucking duct tape, and a lighter. Cuz, yeah. you wanna do me a flavor? Get or a red, you're up. Could you grab me the other ice cube tray in there? Oh, okay. Thanks, pal. I saw the ghost twice so far. Just saying. You had now what? The ghost twice. It was concerning. You saw the ghost too? Twice. twice. What happened? Twice, twice. Right there, on the floor, uh -huh. and then over there. Yeah, over there is the main hangout. Bruh. Yeah, there's only bags in here. Uh, yeah, bags are cool. All right. What did you see? It was like, never mind. I'm she not doing making shit up, yo. Yeah, of course. There's nah, I, I, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Yeah. Absolute one I really do. Website. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Hey, it looks like an on the floor over there. You look like an almond, you said? Yes, hang an on, almond. Hang on, hang on. That's what I Let me help you out here. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's one way to do it. There you go. Why, thank you. You're yeah, welcome. See, so yeah, Liz, absolute one to your website. Which one's mine? I don't have a website, but I have Instagram. Give me Instagram, Lee's underscore R, Etsy, dot com, backslash, Lee's Art. Everything What that said. shit, yo? Uh, I think... Instagram, on Instagram, Thanks, it's L-E-E-Z underscore Art. L E E Z underscore art. It's like a fucking Five hammer. Five thirty of them shits. Five like, wow. <laughs> thirty. Yeah. I mean, he's a good salesman, though. Yeah, yeah. Until we hit conventions, and then he looks like a bodyguard, and everyone's terrified to come look at the art. You buy something? <laughs> Get the fuck out. <laughs> That's really how it is. Yeah, but I understand though, because you're a pretty lady, and yeah, Comic Con is full of perverts. Yeah. At the very comfortable. least, mouth breathers. You guys get too comfortable. Yes. Like, cosplay is not consent, gentlemen. And ladies. There was one lady. <laughs> Maybe you should dress as He-Man, bro, and can bring the ladies on over to... Tell you. No. no, you don't. No, we, we could make you King Grayskull. <laughs> I told him he should go as Robert Baratheon. Ooh. I'll do that. Did you see that meme running around uh, that time Robert Baratheon squired for the Joker and it was him? Oh, from, yes. oh was like Yo, I didn't even realize it was him from what fucking Night's Tale. Nice Tale. I like that movie. One of the greatest movies, like, in our modern time, I would say. I love that movie. You need to stop using a fucking word so much, man. What? Great. Stop using it. You want me to just fucking buy a thesaurus? Is that yes, it? All yes, right, fine. Yes. Fuck you then, that It was marvelous. Trust. All right. So let's talk Captain Marvel real quick since we're all here. Quick spoiler free. Spoiler free. Spoiler free. I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. It was no Wonder Woman. I did not, like, if, you're, if we're going to compare, which I guess we kind of have to, yeah. we've got two, you know, uber Leading women, ladies. girl power movies. Yeah. I, I still, like, I walked out of there feeling like, yo, hey, girl power. I yeah. liked it. Yeah. Yes. I had a lot of fun with it. Mm -hmm. It was funnier than Wonder Woman. Yes. There I was laughed. a lot of I jokes. A lot. Yes. Still, I, I enjoyed Wonder Woman more. If we need to compare, mm -hmm. Wonder Woman was a better movie, but that does not that should not take away from the fact that this fit very nicely into the MCU as a bit of a prequel to one of its most powerful characters. Mm -hmm. Uh they definitely amped her power up. Yeah. There are changes. There are changes. Yeah, this movie has to do a lot. Yeah. And it, it, did, it did the job. Yep. I said that Guardians of the Galaxy is Game of Thrones and Captain Marvel is like the prequel of like what he's doing now that's coming out for like the Game of Thrones. I compared okay. it to that. Because like 
You won't appreciate Captain Marvel if you haven't seen Guardians of the Galaxy. Or yeah, the first Captain Marvel. There is. Of the Galaxy. Mm-hmm. So the first it's, one. It, it's just one of those things where, back to where we were saying, you know, you have to, like, compare it to Wonder Woman. It's it's a shame because we only do that because... Um, fuck, I lost that train of thought, bro. <laughs> 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 That's the Manhattan's talking, sweetie. It is. That's what Salute. Wait, I know it's gonna come back. It'll be back. It'll, It'll come, come back. back. Let me help you out, Dev. <laughs> Tell them what you said after. Oh, the movie. okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, right. So, I think that Wonder Woman just had so much more to her story because Captain Marvel, we just we don't know who she is right. at the end of the day. We don't get enough That's true. to know who she is. In the is end, so we, we we've known who Wonder Woman connect. is for a long time. And yes, and then you come with Wonder Woman who's, you know, you go anywhere in the world, you say, do you know who Wonder Woman is? And chances are four out of five Somebody people are going to know. Right, right. So, um, you know, Wonder Woman has just so much story and personality and there's just, the oh, history. you're you're the daughter of Zeus. Oh, you come from this land of only women. Oh, this is... Like, there's just so much fantasy in it mm-hmm. that it's exotic and it's very, very captivating. But you don't get that with Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel is super human in this, <laughs> like, you Literally. know, like, yeah, yeah she really is. <laughs> She's super human. And, it, and at times it makes you feel really good about being human. But then also, because it kind of brings you back from watching all these superhero movies and you're like, holy shit, I wish I could fly and I wish I had ice breath and I wish I could do this and I wish I could do that but then when you watch Captain Marvel you start to actually feel like proud of the fact that you're human and to go a little off road here one of the best quotes I've ever heard was in Troy where Brad Pitt says the gods envy us because we're mortal because we have to take everything we have to appreciate everything that much more because Mm -hmm. we won't have it forever so it's real and it just, Captain Marvel kind of brought me to that sense where you appreciate being human and being in reality a little yeah. bit. And it, it, that, that's a good synopsis. Like, it, it, it's a good, you it's know. what I could get out. <laughs> because in the end, she was still very human. Like, the whole movie was about her getting in touch with her human mm-hmm. side. The only, yeah. the only bad thing was, she, she said it when we left the movie theater, it was like, the whole Wonder Woman thing is like you know who Wonder Woman is. Right. So when you leave the movie, you have a good sense of who she is, what she's about. After Captain Marvel, you still don't really know who she know is, who she what is. she's about. Right. And it's funny because as much as you could prepare for this movie by either reading about her or just picking up any of the new Avengers books because they're going to inundate us with yeah. her at this yep. point, it does not prepare you for the MCU version. Because she is very different than what you're yeah. reading in the comics. So be ready for that. Mm-hmm. I mean, she still has her energy absorption powers. Let you know, don't don't mistake that. And it's actually it without spoilers, it's a really cool moment when she realizes, oh, that's what I can do? Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah yeah. 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 So but like her coming into herself, like finding out who she is and everything, because the whole movie is really about her rediscovering her it's like humanity. Like we all discover at the same time who she really yes. is. Yes, her her own origin story gets played out to herself. And and because know. it's so different than what we know of Carol Danvers, mm-hmm. we literally are all discovering it at the yeah. same time. Like nothing you could possibly expect is is put forth in this movie. There are parts of it that are predictable, mind you. Mm. But like as far as she goes, we're all learning it at the same time. Mm-hmm. And that kind of that makes it pretty cool. Yeah. Like, you know, it, it it's a theater-wide learning experience. Like, don't everybody's on a level playing field, nerds and novices yeah. alike. It was cool because it, it got to just seeing Nick Fury without the eye patch, mm-hmm. the the inspiration for the Avengers initiative yep. gets broken yes. down, like all that shit gets played out. So it, it's dope. That they backtracked so far. And now, speaking of backtracking, mm-hmm. let me ask you did, you: did you not leave this shit like, damn, I gotta go watch the first fucking six movies again? I, like, I don't yeah. fucking remember. I see. Yeah. I, see it. Yeah. I felt like I need to watch this and then watch Guardians, and then everything from there on, mm-hmm. because they they just um, 
They really, it really, it just so much with Guardians of the Galaxy. Like, you, well, I can't, you, never mind. I mean, it's but, like, it's like yeah, 10 yeah, yeah. years, over 10 years ago. Like, mm-hmm. really? we have a, we have a right no. to forget the first right now. Guardians is like, no, nine. not Guardians, but I mean, the MCU is, it started oh, yeah, in uh, 18, in 08, so we're, it's no. like 11 Guardians years ago. Was Iron Man was May of 08. So we're, we're talking over yeah. 10 years for the yeah, start of the absolutely. MCU. I need to see those first few movies again because I have no clue. And I'm pretty sure somebody there picked up people that was like, oh, like there was some Sam shit happening. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely wants to know that Samuel Jackson dropped the F bomb. No, almost. But mm-hmm. no. He, 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 says he came real close. He said Sinos. Yeah, yeah, he switched it. He flipped it. Nope. <laughs> Speaking of flips, <laughs> get ready. Mm. For a lot of script flipped, and they're just taking the script like whoop, mm. flipping the shit. You have yeah, no we, idea what's coming in this yeah, movie. If you're a fan of the comics and you understand the oh, history, yeah. throw it out the window. Yeah, it, uh, it doesn't apply to the <laughs> yeah, whole man. Red was like, Red was like, like Don't blow it up. Ten, I won't, I won't. Blow it up. Ten minutes of the movie, Red was like, oh, they're going with this with it. And then another ten minutes pass, he goes, never mind, they threw that whole shit out the window. I was like, <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> But I mean, I would it was good. Say, I liked it. It's it's not unpredictable. You know, like you could figure it out. Like once somebody somebody does some shit out of out of the ordinary and you're like, mm. nah, that's that's nah, yeah, I don't trust you no more. <laughs> like that. And you know, it goes on from there, but there was still even with that, you know, obviously there's gonna be betrayals. That's the fucking nature of the movie. Mm-hmm. But even with that, there were there was a certain part of the movie that I never expected. Ever. And what? I'm just saying, like, okay. I want to know what part to that. Everyone cover yeah. your ears. <laughs> no. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Nah, we, uh, we'll wait till next week. Next week, week. Spoiler, make a note of it. Make a note of it. Spoiler review next week. Yeah, so we're going to do that shit no, at the end of the Periscope. Movie. It's a good movie. It really is. To watch. It's enjoyable. And the first end credit scene has everything to do with Endgame. Yes. And the second end credit scene is just for shits and giggles. Yeah. yeah. Is it just two? It's just, it's just two. two. You don't and need to stay for the second one. I'm sorry. Yeah. If I'm being honest, you're you not going to get what you want. Yeah. It's still fun, though. The mid one is definitely vital yes. to end game. However, I will tell you this. I will, you know, if you consider this a spoiler or whatever, but it's an anti-spoiler. Uh, the thing we was talking about at the end of, uh, within Captain Marvel with the whole website, now I feel safe telling you, Mm -hmm. because it does not happen in the movie. There is nothing to do with it. I was waiting for it, too. Yo, so was I, and I was, I was hopeful. I was. Remember the scene where she broke out of the fucking, the, the spaceship? Yep. When she was hanging on? I thought she was gonna rip something open and somebody was gonna come out. I thought, I I thought this this dude was gonna be like... Master, master, <laughs> then she's free or whatever, like anything. Oh, yeah. Nothing happened. So, if y'all missed it last, like, wow, two, three weeks ago, there was an alternate website to the Captain Marvel homepage. That this is the Captain Marvel MCU official website, and the alternate website was, and there were dots strewn in about this. It's like a n n dot. H I dot L I H dot however it's spelled, <laughs> I'm losing it. But the shit spelled out Annihilus. Hmm. And everybody was waiting for this motherfucker yeah, to show yeah, up yeah. for like Endgame <laughs> or something. And he may still might maybe he does show up in he Endgame. Might show up, but he ain't show you up know, as a negative ball. zone, but like people were talking about him being the the secret big bad of of Captain Marvel because the scrolls never really did it. You know, there was never, you know, what are they going to do? Super scroll. What were they going to yeah. do? And people were saying like, oh, because this shit, like, before, uh, I guess the MCU Marvel Studios got wind of it, the the Annihilist website, which we had linked, and I still have the screenshot, so I'm, I'm going to pop it up right here. This shit still linked to the Captain Marvel homepage for the movie for determining who was a scroll and who was not. Now, they have since fixed this, and if you type this in, if you type in that website, it will lead you back to the original Captain Marvel page, but it'll no longer say a nihilist up top. Mm. That's the difference. Mm. So, but either way, all of that's Maybe neither here nor there. Fun. It could have been somebody having fun. It could have been, you know, these things can get hacked left yeah. and right. 
or it could be like a major fucking Easter egg for Endgame. We don't know. Maybe. We don't know. And honestly, I hope it's not because I don't want if if there's an Endgame uh, Easter egg for like Foxvell and everything, I do not want it to be Annihilus. I want it to be Silver Surfer and Galactus yes. in some way, shape, yes. or form. Yes. I don't care if you even fucking hint at them. <laughs> I don't care if you've got a bunch of fucking watchers sitting around drinking moon booze <laughs> and they're like, yo, they finished off Thanos but they got no fucking idea what's coming. <laughs> what they started fucking with Seriously. Thanos. Anything. But like, at this point, you need to bring in that next Super big bad. And it's got to be Galactus. It's got to be. Yeah. But all in all, Captain Marvel, good movie. Yes. Really good. Go see it. Go fun. See it. It's a good movie. Ho- Yo, it's funny. It is yeah. really funny. Music and is good, too. Believe the hype. I but like I like Brie Lawson, too. She was cute. Because, like, she in was. the trailers, they made her seem stiff. Yeah. And, like, she they was super charismatic. Bland. She was super charismatic in the she movie. Was. Can, can we all raise a glass, please, to whoever edited this motherfucker? Yeah. And say, like, Absolutely. thank God the worst line in the trailer was not, was not in, in the it, movie. Right? The whole... I don't start wars. I I'm going to end yeah, them. Yeah, I was so like, happy. No, that. Yeah, I was thank like, God. I was like, God, oh, please man. don't be in it. Mm-hmm. Even hearing that, I was like, damn, that's mad I mean, corny, we do yo. hear it, corny. but not from her. But not, like like, not, not like, not like that. that. Like, yes, yes, like yes, that. Yes, 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 yes. It wasn't like that. Yes, yes, That was a terrible I line, I and thank mean, God it got dropped. Yeah, she was like, like you said, she was real bland in the trailer. Yeah. They made her seem stiff, and I was like, oh, I hope she's not like, she's super, she's like a Star-Lord. She's a female Star-Lord. Yeah, absolutely. She's funny. She's a smart ass. She's a badass. It was good, Roughly man. It was fun. Roughly the same age, too, right? Like, no, probably give or take. about that. Probably. And uh, I, had, I had one other thing to input, and I completely forgot <laughs> what it was. <laughs> it's gone now. Maybe it'll come back later. But all in all, it was a good movie. It was a funny movie. There is a, there's a lot of good humor thrown in. Oh, that was what I wanted to say. Believe the fucking hype. Uh, if you read some of the reviews, you will find that uh, homeboy that played the lead scroll stole the show. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He is absolutely the best part of the whole movie. Whoever this yeah. British motherfucker is, he's great. I'm sorry, Red. He's got funny. an accent, and that's why he works. That's <laughs> why he funny. works. And hey, he was, was an alien, so I, I ain't yep. lying. Jesus. Awesome <laughs> shit. That's 10. I think that's 10. He was yeah. in Dark Knight Rises. That's what? what oh, really? The actor? Yeah. The- that's when Bane was like, and you think that gives you power. Jesus Christ. That, <laughs> <laughs> that was him, right? Where he's like, I, I gave you a small fortune. That, that wasn't the doctor, was and it? you think that gives that you can- power? The the scroll was the doctor that got killed in... Uh, in-, in Dark Knight Rises. Yeah. Not the doctor. The whoever was saying all this shit up that was... Financing Bane's whole plan. Oh, that dude, scumbag dude. Gotta go back. Gotta go back and watch it. Uh, yeah, I don't remember. Because I remember, I remember seeing him I don't remember in the Tom movie, Hardy and I'm like, shit. damn, where mm-hmm. his, where's he exactly. from? I yeah. thought he was in another Marvel movie, and I'm like, oh shit, they brought him back for this. Damn, where is he from? But no, nah. hmm. Bane cracked his neck. So last but not least, <laughs> we have the Grand Maester of oh, Brooklyn shit, here, and we're gonna shit. talk some Game of Thrones season eight. <laughs> Uh, possible spoilers, mostly theories. It's yeah. all, the- it's no all spoilers. theories. Yeah, yeah it's really not, because we don't yeah, know. Well. Well. Uh-oh. well. Uh-oh. But she knows. She knows. All I'm saying is, okay, we've all seen the trailer, and if you haven't, motherfucking shame, okay? Shame. 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 But um, shame. I'm going to bring a bell next week. Like, but yes. Yo, could you could you go around that side, please? Could you, please? <laughs> no, Red, could you go around that Don't side of the it. pillar? Do it. It. It's a it. bell, bro. No fucking way. Yeah, bro. It's, it's hanging it. the fuck up. Right there, sharp left. Yep. Oh, sharp right. Sharp, sharp left. Right. Sharp right. To the pillar, to the pillar, to the pillar. Oh, shit. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, my God. Give me that. <laughs> Shame. 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 You never knew we had the belt? I did not. I did. Yo, I'm going to tell you right now. That bell, that bell is older than you, me, and you put together. Oh, my God. And probably you. Oh, my goodness. That's the shame bell, yo. Well, let's just talk about the trailer for a second. All right. Because I have... 
you have filled me in on theories that I must ask you about in public. Absolutely. But, yeah. I mean, we could discuss it. No, yeah, but, but okay. let's All go right. to the trailer first. Let's go to the trailer so, first. Let's go to the videotape. Trailer. <laughs> Arya is, ta- is running. It yeah, looks like somebody says weak. that. Yeah. Somebody says that she's running in the Stark Crips. I don't think she's running in no, the Crips. No, it was like. Yeah. And um, I didn't see any of the statues. So yeah. I was like, I don't think that's the Crips. But also, I think Arya. And I know a lot of people are gonna hate me. I don't like her that much. I know, I know. But she's a badass. I'm not she going is. to say that. You know, I will say that. Like she is a badass. But I think this is a dream. Do you think she's lost? That's for what this I'm world? saying. I don't know that she's going to survive. Um, I've heard rumors in the real world that George R. R. Martin's wife. Has told him if he kills off Arya Stark, she will divorce him and take every penny she can. But the show don't got nothing to do with his books. Yes. Right. That's two different well, things. So they could kill her the, in the show listen, and he could keep a, writing her off. As a book reader. he's still writing like two more books, right? As, <clears throat> as a book reader and as a person who like watches the fucking show religiously, they did it justice. Aside from Lady Stoneheart not being in there and like... Lady Brienne still being alive because she gets hung in the books yeah. along with Podrick. Um, there's oh, a lot that they shame. twist. Yeah. There's a lot that they twist around. Do you, do you kind of feel like get, like HBO just kind of bought the whole shit from I the think, fat guy? And yeah. just been like, you know, whatever. I think that they like, were like, you know what, we'll take it from up. here. Yeah, yeah, like, we'll take it from here. You you did good. Just just go on vacation. Have some fucking else. raviolis, you motherfucker. It's yeah. basically. Hey, regardless. Yeah. Yeah. Way, it's his shit. So, um... But no, going back to the trailer, I think Arya talking about, you know, death has many faces. I'd like to see this one. I was like, yeah, that's you. That's good. That's cool. But I don't think that she's actually running from someone that scared. No fucking way. Um, she's she just too... A nightmare? It has to be a dream or maybe Bran is seeing something in the future. That could be it. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. Because we have to okay, take it Because basically, like, the the whole trailer, horrible so. minus a few maybe throwaway <laughs> cutscenes that we couldn't place, <laughs> are episode three, which we know to be the Battle of Winterfell. Oh, yes. Wait, what? The whole, Battle like, the whole Winterfell. trailer. When the north, when the, when the, when the White Walkers finally make it to Winterfell because that's the first castle that's, that's the yeah, first that's, stronghold yeah. that's the big shit right there I mean they already said like the, the everybody that worked on it said they've created the biggest fight scene of since all Helm's time. Deep yeah of all time and I understand and then, that you don't understand that no, but we do so like yeah no Helm's Deep is big you should bro. just watch the battle of Helm's Deep you should what the fuck you should just fast about? forward the motherfucking Lord the Lord of the Rings oh. yeah no just <laughs> Just like fast forward to the just end, bro. The trees yeah. fucking shit up. No. Yes, yeah, sort of, but like it's a different scene. It's a different scene. Yes, but it's, I think the, the trees are involved in that battle. Yes. All I know the is trees, you know. the so, Game of Thrones producers and directors said they committed to like the most minutes dedicated to a battle on film. That's All right. TV, movies, everything. That's probably like a. And that's incredible. So let let's bounce back and forth for a second, because while we're on the subject of Arya, uh, I've heard it theorized. Now, like, how possibly the whole thing could play out? We have Clegane Bowl, let's say. Now, yes. Mountain, yes. That has to happen. The mountain is on her list, okay? He is, but also the hound everybody, has her back. Everybody wants the hound to have her back. Everybody he wants does. the hound to the be hound his brother. The hound is on her list, too. Could it be? Well, nah. Like, technically, he nah. left, she left him for dead. She, yes, she did. Yeah, so, she doesn't even know he's alive. Mind, yes, as, as, far as, she, neck, yo, nah, nah, nah. as far as Arya is concerned, he she left him for dead. He killed her boy. Yo, she got will, cut him in the neck. I'm going to bust your lips right <laughs> So, like, let me, let me ask you this. <laughs> let me ask you this. Now, obviously, we're going to see some sort of Clegane Bowl. In we are. The, That's happening. I don't care if it's because two the, minutes the or 20 minutes. Yes, the hound says it. You know who's coming for you. You've Ooh. always known. Ooh. That's not a threat. That's a promise. You know what I mean? So it's happening. How does it play out? Let me ask you right now. Because I have two theories. Two. Please go. Go ahead. Either the hound battles his brother and gets fucked up. And Arya has to come and save him before Ooh. he dies. Because I like that's 
that's a great juxtaposition compared to like how she it's left him. Like now I have to save you. Because the hound or... also says the hound also says when he sees Brienne when they go to King's Landing, he was like, oh, she says, you know, I thought you were dead, and he's like, yeah, I thought so too, and she's like, well, how is she? And he's like, she's good. Well, whatever. Brienne was like. The only person that should be worried about her is the person who gets in her way. And he said, that's my right. girl. That's, yeah, and he smiled. Yeah. So you know he cares he about her. Smiles. And you know, exactly. So I don't know that she needs to protect him. I think yeah, he's got like, it on Especially when she's protecting her family. So, yes. She you. won't leave her family to protect him. She will not. But, um, but I do think, I, I think Clegane can, well, I think the Hound got this. But, but here, ahead, here's ahead, another theory. Like, let's. Let's take that same theory and just like let's take not the inverse but the converse of it. Mm -hmm. Let's take a slightly different approach to it. And what if she encounters the mountain first? Ooh. And you know she will have the balls like to that. take him on. Hell yeah. And he way. fucks her up. The only and way. the mountain and, and the hound has to come to her that. rescue. That so now she sense. has to sit there like, holy shit, this guy How who I have hated for years yeah. just came to my rescue you and basically what? basically got killed season. doing it. He beat the mountain beats him. Beats him fucking senseless. And right before he's about to kill him, Arya comes up, stabs him, and then both both Clegane's Die. I like that. I think Arya has I a I think that's what's going to happen. I like that. So Arya has a list. Some people yep. die before she can get to them, like mm -hmm. Joffrey. Joffrey died before she can get mm -hmm. to him. The mountain... Is prime on her list. She's not going to get to Cersei. It would She's be not. poetic... No. It would be poetic justice if someone as small as Arya could take down the mountain. Be that would be dope. I I'm don't all know for that. Everybody but if dying. it does happen, I think that she because just because, and I, I I'm sorry, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna apologize for being that person. But in the books, okay, <laughs> it is projected. Read, motherfuckers. It is projected <laughs> that it's a Clegane bowl, like it's brother yes. against brother. The only way Arya can take down the mountain is if somehow, some way, the Hound dies and she takes his face, and technically. Kills the mountain Oof. as oh, the hound. Interesting. So that's. I mean, she a, could poke him in the say, fucking crotch with a needle. That would suck. She, she was Frey. She was um the old Frey man. The, yeah. Well, and he, he was, yeah, but he was sitting down. She could fake the funk sitting down. All I know she is fake death has tall. many faces, yeah. and she's. I think she's I, more I than capable. I don't see her anywhere near the games. Because Winterfell and he, the Kaganes are not. No, he's in the They're north. north of the wall. He's in the north. Oh, and no, they no, were I'm like. Sorry, the, the asshole brother, the zombie brother. The mountain. Yeah, the mountain's he's like not Frankenstein. Leave, um, this he's goes side. Yeah, he's by Cersei. I think. So I think Cersei definitely <clears throat> gets. Excuse me. I think Cersei gets taken out by Jamie. Because Jamie's already turned Fair. his back that's on her. That's the sentence now, I've gotten from everybody. Is that. Early on, or you think that's. No, the probably last later. episode. Yeah, well, last I episode. Say, I want to see. Um, Jamie's um, acceptance into Winterfell. I think he absolutely. He got no love. I would love to see. But you know what? I can't trailer. wait to see the fucking meeting between Bran and Jamie. Like, hey, dude, push you out the oh, window. Yeah. How you doing? That's very true. That's a good one. That's very true. That's gonna happen. But too, I right? will say, Jamie's yeah. on his way to Winterfell. Jamie's yeah. on his yeah. way to yeah. Winterfell that's because he doesn't ended. want. Yeah. He doesn't want to be that person that doesn't keep his word. So it's funny because in the last episode, Jon Snow couldn't lie. And Tyrion was like, you couldn't fucking lie for just mm -hmm. that one second mm -hmm. to Cersei. And he says, he says to, her, to mm -hmm. him, if we start lying, especially me as a Stark, as a, as a bastard, but the blood that runs through my veins, if I start lying now, then my word means shit. And so who do we know is full of shit and is always lying and conniving. Cersei! Cersei! Cunt, bitch! Oh! Hey, calm down, because I love her. <laughs> so, um, Cersei, when she has the mountain at her back and she's telling Jamie, now nah, we're not doing all that, we're going to do this, that, and the third. And he's like, I'm leaving. And she's like, no one turns their back on me. He knows that she's so full of shit that he can walk away from her. And so he no, does. And that's the moment that it, it brings to light when you keep lying, your word means nothing. 
And Jamie proved it after Jon Snow said it in that episode. Like, what? I don't believe you. And he walks away. What if Jamie goes to King's Landing with the hound? Well, back to King's Landing. I don't think the they would go back. Right I think the they're going to go The hound is up north. north. The hound's Jamie, up north. Jamie's Jamie's north. Jamie's definitely fight. killing the first, Cersei. Jamie wants to fight. The first thing that's going to happen is they're going to have to deal with the zombies. So I will say this. Afterwards. Yes, 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 yes. Jamie and the hound. But I'm sorry. I think. Self. I don't think that the battle ends where the White Walkers make it to Winterfell, and that's as far as no. they have to lose. No way. Uh, Winterfell. Winterfell's they have to Absolutely, lose. Winterfell is being lost, and then they the have won lose. every battle so far. The battle of like they've won. Mm-hmm. They, they were, have to they lose, lose those, Winterfell. Those that gotta be the first episode. It's third. Because the last Ooh, episode, so three. no, the last um, episode they broke through the war and Winterfell was like down the, the block. The distance <laughs> 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 block. The only speed they got is one dragon. The rest of the zombies aren't exactly. Nah, like because you zombies. have because it's a horde. Zombies they run, said it was yo. like a horde mind, yeah, a hive man. mind. I still need so to you've make got reference. Like the five main guys who are in charge of like a whole like their own squad, like their own platoon. Let's right. say. Right, and you kill all. It's just like playing an RPG in classic yeah. fucking military battle, like Final Fantasy Tactics or War yeah. Song or whatever. When you kill the lead boss, all the rest of the motherfuckers mm-hmm. die. Mm-hmm. And that's the way the shit goes. Shining I Force think, has the same shit. Sucks. It's a I think a Clegane guys, Bowl, like oh, a legit burn. Clegane Bowl happens. I think Jamie will kill Cersei, whether it be literally, because <clears throat> it's it's prophecy that she's killed by her younger brother. But I don't believe that Tyrion is actually her full blood well, brother. Right, we're, we're gonna get to that. Yeah, yeah. I want. Yeah. I want to get so, into yes. detail yes, on absolutely. that. Yes, absolutely. But first, so, I want. I want to touch yeah, yeah, yeah. on one totally, thing totally, real quick. Totally. But wait. So so wait wait wait. So Jamie's definitely killing Cersei, whether it be by strangulation or childbirth. If she is pregnant, which I don't she know. Claims she claims to be pregnant, She claims to be pregnant, she but she if she died... She didn't abortion treat them. She didn't look all chubby-faced yeah. in any of the previews. But you know what? I Whether or not it, the prophecy said she would have three children, she did say that she had a young one with um, Robert, Robert Baratheon and he died. Mm-hmm. But she did have three surviving children. So it is possible that she is pregnant, anymore, but Jamie but yeah. kills her in the sense that she dies during childbirth. Ah. And if she di- dies during childbirth, it's very similar to how much she hated Tyrion because her mother died in childbirth. So if she dies, you know, it, let's Wait say the child... So what you're saying is... Jamie kills her some way, in some form or another. But what, what you're really saying is, when it boils down, is if she dies, she dies. She dies. She dies. She dies. <laughs> Cuz, are you running? I got you. Thank you. Okay. Cuz, I'll be mad. He he had to walk away. (laughs) (laughs) It's all right. (laughs) Thank you, Cuz. Oh, but back to the trailer because we are going back to Cersei. We have to go back to that. In the trailer. But wait, I have to. Jon Snow was like breaking down his enemies. No, Jon Snow and Danny are walking towards the dragons. Yes. And as a Targaryen, that it's been confirmed. Confirmed that Jon Snow is a Targaryen. Last Aegon season, Targaryen. And the, the last season. He technically he can ride a dragon. He's yep. capable of riding a dragon. Absolutely, because it is in the Targaryen blood. And they it would stand to reason that he rides his father's namesake. Exactly! Pizza his point, yo. Yes! See? Rhaegar. Yes. yes, absolutely. So, yes. So, Rhaegar is the dragon that she has named after her brother, who she isn't aware yet. Jon Snow's father is her brother. This sounds that bad. That crazy, <laughs> yo. <laughs> because, I mean, it's all incestuous anyway. They yo, all if like, I didn't watch know. novellas as a little kid with my baby sitting me, this will be fucking nuts. The evil twin. <laughs> but no, Sorry, really. Yo. Like, it, it, yeah. But let's move on to on. the other. When do you think he's finding out his lineage? I really hope it's not the last episode. That's, that'd be horrible. Because, mm. yeah, because I, mean, I want him to know. Because ever since the first fucking season, first, no, maybe second episode, Ned Stark looks at him and says, when I get back, the next time I see you, yeah. we'll talk about your mother. Mm-hmm. And, and never that never again. happened. Yeah. Yep. And that sucks because he's over here thinking, damn, my mom was probably some whore. Yeah. yeah and Ned Stark is my dad. Slut. 
And they and he doesn't know. But moving on to other. All pages, I want to before we get into the rest of the meat and potatoes and the trailer and ever and your theories, which are fantastic, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, I just want to rehash one element from last season when after the Night King rose Viserion from the dead and had his fucking you know ice dragon. We saw and him, that hurt. I. Initially, I don't know if I texted you or if I excitedly exclaimed to you in person, <laughs> ice fire. Yes. And you're like, what yes. the fuck does that mean? I'm like, I don't know. You know why? Because and then the next episode, this motherfucker was tearing down the wall. I was in the not, wall. Oh. I was, I'll be honest, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. And to I get just texted dragon. you that night like, ice fire. And you're like, yeah, and I was right. like, at first I was like, no fucking way. So wait, the Battle but of Winterfell happens the third, third episode? episode, they said. There's only third six episodes. I know. Nah, that gotta what? be like episode two. I it's don't know. Minutes, yeah, everything's episode like an hour two, and a half. Yo. We'll see. But um, Because for them to lose Winterfell and then to go to like the battle could cut off and wait to the next episode. Oh. I do, oh, but I, I believe. Oh, could be, yeah. half. Because they gotta have wordy shit going on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Could be like half, yeah. Half and half. Half and half. So I believe, I haven't read this personally, but I've read like in like articles and stuff that apparently in the Game of Thrones books, um, not that I've read, again, there are ice dragons and there are dragons, but the ice dragons are not White Walker dragons. They're, they're not just dragon. They're not zombie dragons. They're just they're snow breed. dragons, white yes. dragons. So, um... I guess that's where the show kind of veered off, but I like it. I like yeah. the twist. It fits. Hey, I'm I'm an RPG nut. I'm more than familiar with ice dragons. I have fought I, the motherfuckers time and time again. I have fought ice dragons. <laughs> I have fought fire dragons. I have fought fucking zombie dragons. I have fought every kind of dragon that Final Fantasy has thrown at me, and I have come out on top. Fuck you. <laughs> So I fought three-headed the... dragons. I don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. Peter Luka, veteran of many dragon battles. I fought dragons. Veteran of dragon battles. I like that. <laughs> I'm adding that to my <laughs> business card. Oh, and telling I do you right think now. that, I don't know how it happens, but Jamie is... Because remember, Jamie mm -hmm. pushed Bran out the window, but Text Bran isn't that. Bran anymore. Bran isn't Bran. He's... Brandon's a three-eyed raven. He's all exactly. weird and shit. So he if he sees Jamie, remember, no one really knows that. The only people who know that Jamie pushed him out the window are Lady Stark. She who did. Can't, yep. Uh, Jamie. Yep. And, and Bran. Bran. And I think maybe, maybe Brienne of Tarth. But we all know that she loves Jamie, so maybe she'd let this slide. But I think that Bran might keep it to himself and be it like, would be one of those like for things gazes from like across the yeah. field like i know what you did yeah. but let's just move forward like, yeah we cool like hey i i see all of you yeah yeah mm -hmm. so if we move on to the lannisters though like this is aside from the trailer so um, uh, are we gonna are we gonna get into this yes. all right let me let me Go let me preface it. this for a second all right this is one of the greatest Game of Thrones theories I have ever heard. And I I preface this with this is our Grand Maester of Brooklyn's theory. And I have All theories, don't get mad if we end up fucking spoiling the season yo, for it, you. Whether or it's it wrong or happen, it's right, but, doesn't who yeah. knows? All but theories. we're gonna talk about this theory here. And I want you to know that I have spoken of this theory since you've told me about it with credit due to you. <laughs> and people was like, yo, that's crazy. <laughs> because it was like a fucking light just blink, what, like went on in their heads. Because it's and big it in front of us realize, this whole time. It has in I'm waiting to hear it. So, <laughs> without further ado, <laughs> let's just get everything out of the way here. Yes, so we can yes, all yes. see. Open those up. No, we're gonna do it afterwards. Okay, 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 okay. Just remember it's there, dog. All right, all right. All right. So, shame. Are you guys ready? We're not. We're waiting. We're not. You're not. Okay, so, again, in the books. Very briefly, oh so briefly, in just one sentence, they speak about the Mad King. Because remember, Tywin Lannister was the hand of the king, the Mad King. His son Jamie, 
was eventually the um, King's Guard. And that's how he got Kingslayer. He killed the Mad King. What you don't know, because they haven't said it in the book, I mean in the show, and they haven't said anything oh, the whole in up. regards to the Lannister history, you know all about the Starks. You know all about the Targaryens. Hell, you know about the Dothraki. But you don't know shit about the Lannisters' family history other nope. than the reigns of Castamere. They have not told you anything. So, in the books, they explain very quickly when Tywin was marrying Joanna, the Mad King, right before the betting ceremony, raped Joanna. He raped her. Then Tywin was allowed by the Mad King to enjoy his wife that night. Jesus. So now, was this like... This is in the like, books. Like, the, the, you know, the betting ceremony is taking place and the king's like, oh, hold on a second. Hold on, hold on. I, I'm going to enjoy your wife before for a you second. get a chance. Or was this like a secretive thing? No, no it no. was, I'm the king and I'm about this life. So you sit there and I'm going to go fuck your wife. Prima Nox. Whoa. That's what it was. That's heavy uh, shit. So, she ends up, Joanna ends up having two children. They're twins. And these twins are Cersei... And Jamie. Blonde and of Cersei hair. And Cersei and Jamie are blonde of hair. They are incestual. Just, just like... like the Targaryens. And let's take a second, because even Cersei herself said it. Every time the Targaryens have a child, they flip a coin. Mm -hmm. They're mad or they're something else. Season two. I'm watching it now. Yep. And Cersei is fucking mad. She is crazy. As much as I love her, I she's not okay. I don't think okay. she's mad king crazy. What? Yes, she is. She blew up a church. She at, yes. That's payback, yo. You no, walk me so, down the street. I'll do the same shit to that. She blew up a church. That's so, shame shit. So. <laughs> I'll take out half of Brooklyn for that shit me. Sir, so, so Danny's always saying it. I will take what's mine with fire and blood. But the only person who's actually really done that is Cersei. With nah. with wildfire. That's how she got her horde when she burned all the cows in there, the tent. Okay, but Cersei is about that life, too. She is. So, whether it be with Wildfire or... And we saw that in season... What was it? The Blackwater? Blackwater two. Bay? That's that two. was season two. two. And, the, two. and the two. And Tyrion used that to his advantage. Yeah. But then we have her doing it again at the Citadel. Mm -hmm. And then some. And Yeah. So, we know that she's a little mad. She's incestual. Is that a word? Like, yeah. She's, incestuous. She's fucking yes, her brother. Incestuous. Yes. Which just like all the Targaryens just, have been doing yes, for and centuries. she's obsessed with keeping her family name, like, lineage, like, Which, what, Was something not. that she actually inherited from her father. That was, that was instilled in her for years. Her, no, her real father. The, well, Tywin was, I loved, yo, get out. <laughs> I love Tywin, He's but cool. he, he was... He was all was, about the family great. name and shit, though. But this is, but see, exactly. So this is another reason why I think the show's going to go with the books in terms of this. Because Tywin was all about the family name. He wanted Jaime to get out of the King's Guard and do his own thing to keep that lineage mm -hmm. going. Tywin, this whole time, has just been totally butthurt by the yep. fact that... Only Tyrion is his real son, and he and knows that's him. why he hates him. And that's why he hates him because he knows that is his only real son. And the last words as an arrogant that Tyrion bastard said to that his he father, is. holy shit! The Before he shot words, him while taking the shit. shit. That's my the biggest fear, dying, yo. Calm down. Oh. The last words Tyrion yeah, said to his father were, Sorry. "I am your son. I've always I have been always your been son. your son." And that's how he dies. And it stands and to reason that like that would be why he hates him because he knows that's, he knows his, that's only his only kid. kid. An arrogant dude who values family and values name and, and status as much as Tywin does. That's his knows kid. That a that's fucking midget oh my God, you is just his heard this kid. Theory? This man had theory since like season no, four. No, I told him about it a while ago. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. And then lastly... I'm just going to react it. No. Lastly, <laughs> lastly, in the last season... Before Sam leaves the Citadel, right? Yeah, I said Citadel before. I meant the Red Keep. The, yes. Yes, uh, sorry. And they hand in Cersei, the book. Cersei blew up. Yes, Cersei blew up the, um, the, the Red, Red Keep. Keep. But while Sam is in the Citadel, 
very nonchalantly. Yeah. The, the, the history of Lannister. They're just throwing books on top of Sam, and they're like, we need this, we need that. And then the maester grabs something. He goes, huh, that might come in handy later, and throws it on top of him. And very quickly, it's the, a history of the Lannister family bloodline. Oh, I wonder what they're going to tell us. <laughs> you know, like, I really, really think, and I truly wow. believe, that Jamie and Cersei are Targaryens, and Tyrion is the only living Lannister alive. So, so now, they're Targaryens. They don't have a shot at the throne? Cersei has a shot at the throne. Ooh. She has more Flame. right to that throne Flame, yeah. than Jon Snow Ooh. and Danny. Ooh. So. so her fighting for what she has right now, even Ooh. though she doesn't Ooh. know it, Ooh. even Ooh. though she doesn't qu- know it, question. she is next in line. Ooh. I truly Ooh. believe she's next in line. Yes. Ooh. So do you do you think that we'll see Cersei fly a dragon? No. Oh. <laughs> no. I think that I think that Daenerys has Drogon, Dragon, who she's named after Khal Drogo, is completely loyal to her. And well, he's the now big one. she'll yeah, have I mean, Yes. And now she'll have um and also like there's no da- um Daenerys is more pure blood. Because I think she was she was Targaryen mm-hmm. and Targaryen made a Targaryen. Yeah. Whereas Cersei is Targaryen and Lannister. Same thing with John. Yes. Right. Same thing with John. But I do think John, um, because he's just a better person, <laughs> gets to dra- gets to be and I mean it's the it's the dragon that's named after his father. We know this is his father. And we know that Rhaegar Targaryen was Jon Snow's father. And <laughs> he's definitely flying that dragon. And I think in the trailer, I'm coming to you. I think in the trailer when Sansa is at Winterfell and she's watching the dragons fly John over. That was a great scene. I think they ha- they're they on them, but they've like omitted John them. That was a great trailer. scene with Sansa like, she's like oh, yeah, because she doesn't, shit. She doesn't yeah. look. That was a yes. what the Nobody fuck moment. Yes. Nobody she, believes the bullshit until the dragon show up. Yes. That is like, she oh, oh shit. And I love her. every moment of it when they see their face. Like, that's some fucking dragon. But when you see Sansa's face, she's not like, holy shit, dragons for the first time. No, she's like, John, this isn't a good idea. <laughs> that's the face she has. It's like, holy shit, my brother's on a dragon. It's not, oh, dragons for the first time. I mean, time she could be like, like, I'm going to just go Phoenix and fuck these motherfuckers. Uh, <laughs> You were raising your hand. I don't remember what I was going to say. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. It's like, always well, going to happen. Call on him. I should call on him. I'm going to try to remember, and I'll be back to you, you know in a moment. Sansa's wearing like a weird choker, chapa, leash type of thing? I didn't. I did not know. It's like that. this big chain with a big loop hoop, yeah. and it goes through it. I'm like, why would she wear anything even remotely like that considering the shit she's been through? Mm-hmm. And especially seeing season two again like I am, it's like... Nah, yeah. I'm curious when they show the Greyjoy ships. Go ahead, because you're gonna. Yeah. No, that's not what I was thinking about before. But I'm, I'm really curious, like, because there are odds running around Vegas and everything. Oh like, my god! Who do you think is sitting sits the Iron room? Throne by the end of this? Oh, keep right. Iron I'm really curious. So I think it'll change a couple of times. It's either one of two people that I have in mind. No, it only counts whoever's sitting and I have another, on it at the end of the I have show. another horrific theory no, to it, throw past you, but okay. let's we answer this question first. Okay, so I think, I think Danny does get pregnant with Jon Snow's baby. I think that Jon Snow has said time and time again, he hates what he's good at. So he's good at killing people, killing motherfuckers. and he's good at... War. Yes. Yeah. I think his sister's better, but okay. Well... No, are you talking about Sansa? No, Arya. Oh, Arya. Oh, okay, no, sorry. Sansa's like, mm-hmm. she's the complete she, opposite. Yes. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's good at getting hurt. So I think that Danny dies in childbirth. Okay. And That's, I think that'll be it's not fitting. happening that season. I don't know. I really don't hold know. On. They just fought the last season, right? Mm-hmm. Right. So what's the gap between this season and next season? Months. We don't know. Traveling time. But obviously, they like, the they... They just broke down the Stop wall. Block. They it's down like the block from Winterfell. Miles the first away. thing that's happening Even if it's three months from I don't. Winterfell. I don't think it's like walking to Grey Man and pregnant. you to fucking Kingsland. There's no way they showing her being pregnant this season. <laughs> no, it's possible. The first thing that's going to happen is a big zombie. She's not thing. having the baby. Ew. Yeah, you know, I do have she to say have in the, the trailer, she You're saying didn't nine months passes pregnant. from la- from last season to this season? No, no, no. First it, of during all... The, during the, this season. I don't see it happening. I think it's possible. 
Because they, they had the golden army to do it too. I, I feel like every whether episode it be childbirth or not, like, boom, 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 boom. Whether boom. it be childbirth or hit. not, Daenerys does not survive. I don't think Daenerys survives. Nope. I don't no. think she sits the Iron Throne. No, I she, think she dies. She they, reunites with Count Drogo. They foreshadowed it. Yes, in season one, they show where she's mm-hmm. walking into the, iron the, chambers, the chambers and she yeah. sees the Iron Throne, and she we don't know if it. it's snow or ash that's falling onto it. <laughs> yeah, but she leaves it. Because she hears something else. I think that's a foreshadow that she meets Cal Drogo or whatever she the meets afterlife. in the afterlife. Yeah. John has a stronger claim to the throne. And John does. As, as far as Danny's concerned, he has a stronger claim. Also Cersei too, but yeah. Cersei has the ultimate claim. Nope, like if she great. ever finds out, which I don't think she will. The oldest son would have the claim, but once he had a son, the, the heir would become his son. You know what I'm saying? Say it again. I'm sorry. It's, it's right. strong. Um... <laughs> yeah, I got lost too. I was like, yeah, I was like, like the oldest mm. son was Rhaegar, right? From the yes. Mad King. The Mad King, Rhaegar, yes. So once Rhaegar died, his son, once he had a son, would become the king, which is Jon Snow. But if the Mad King had a child, in this case, it's Jamie. Jamie has. Jamie out claims Jon yeah. Snow. Yep. Yes, he does. Yes, he She's does. The king is his because son. the Mad yeah. King is the king. Son of the king. Not, not the not when, not, You're talking not about when Robert Baratheon and then Renly. Like if Renly had a kid As and Robert Baratheon Stannis, had yeah. a kid, or Stannis, yes, actually, Stannis when was the older when one. The crown yes. Renly, has yeah. a kid, that kid becomes the heir. But if the king has a kid, that kid's the fucking heir. Yes, and in that case, and it's if that's Jamie, Jamie yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, if a king world. has a son, that's the king prince. A kid. That's yes. the next Rhaegar. No, but Rhaegar... And once Rhaegar has a son... Rhaegar the was the there, son of the Mad extras. King. I see what if you're saying. If the Mad King... The Mad King's kid they're both would be Jaime and Cersei. So they're both the sons. I don't know which one And nowhere does it even mention that women rule, have the right to rule. They well, it doesn't, but times, it would. But I think it would fall to Jamie then above it, anyone else. And Cersei is the eldest. But they're never going to find out their true lineage anyway. I don't, I don't think that Cersei will ever find out. I don't see that happening either. I don't think that Cersei Jamie's will find out. I think find Cersei out. will I think die. It's a lot. I think Cersei will yeah. die in vain. How do you very think Jamie so. does? I don't think Jamie dies. I think he does. I, I think he does, does. Tyrion heroically. I think Tyrion does. The guy he was looking out for. I think he does heroically years, saving Brienne. No. Somehow. I think he retires to um Castle Rock. That might be good too. I think that's what happens to Tyrion. Tyrion, 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 said, Tyrion kills him. I want Tyrion no, to kill him. No, Tyrion would never kill Jamie because no, they actually... They actually like Jamie, Jamie had his back um, the whole time, so it would be nice to see Tyrion double cross him. So who do we think sits the Iron Throne? I would have to say it's between... Reek. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Reek, that fucking I loser. think it... I want to say it's Jon Snow, but I think Jon Snow turns it down. It's positive. Absolutely. It's the kid? It's the kid of the both of them? Um... It could be, but oh, I think... Oh, it's the Baratheon kid. I want to say... What's his name? No, nah, uh, so it's nah. Jon Snow and nah, nah, nah. Uh, Daenerys' kid. Jon Snow and Daenerys' kid. Nah, 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 nah. But dead. let's say Which he does... Which will be named They're Vito. They're dying. Who, like Danny DeVito? Nah, 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 nah. No, like Vito. Vito. <laughs> oh. I, I want to like say that Jon gets it, but he doesn't want it. No. So he passes it on. So what does he do? So either he passes he it to on to someone who he trusts that he knows is wise, which I would say is Tyrion. Sam? Huh. No way. I don't know. Oh my god, if it's Sam. <laughs> Imagine if it was I don't know. Sam. I don't fucking know. Sam and Gilly's kid. I will burn all my Game of Thrones. John, <laughs> like, John, John trusts Sam with everything he got. You're right. <laughs> you're point. right. It could be. It could very well yo, be. Yo, these are Vegas odds right now. Yo, like, you're, real, you're yo. fucking talking about this fucking shit. About millions of there's dollars people on the fucking, line, yeah, yo. there's people fucking betting <laughs> millions on this shit. And they are listening to you. No pressure. No fucking pressure. <laughs> ah, I'm going to say Tyrion. I'm going to say Jon Snow does not want it. And he trusts He's Tyrion never enough. It. He's never wanted it. He's never wanted to be a leader. But he knows time. Tyrion isn't isn't fucked up in the head. And he knows. Yeah. And. And but Tyrion got that wait, creepy wait, wait, look wait, wait, wait. when he wait, saw wait, wait. him fucking Daenerys. Yeah, right. He was we like, don't know Yo. what that's about yet. We don't know what that's about yet. He's a creep. But I will say this. See, I fucking forgot. God damn, it was so, so hey. good. It was so good. It wasn't that good. We obviously good. know Grey Worm dies. Because he just looks like the kind of Hope guy so. that would die. Does Melisande die? Masendi? Masendi, um, yeah. 
If she does, she needs to be naked one more time. Yes, she <laughs> does. <laughs> she needs to <laughs> die naked. Does she have a done. great rack or nice tits? Nice tits. She's, she's got she's nice got a tits. Nice all around package. Yeah, she's a good package all around. Okay. What that about Danny? We've seen her tits. That is well her, again like well angles. formed. Okay. Well done. Okay, okay. But to the gods of fucking creation. You know who's got the best tits on Game of Thrones? Do tell. Roz. Who? The redhead whore from the first season? Yes! She messed up what happened to her. Yeah, yes. she got crossbow. Yeah, yes, she did. Up. Yeah. With like her hands up, up. Yeah, uh-huh. like perfect. Yes. Fuck yeah, I, you, yeah, I noticed that. What she did. I, like, I, well, she I, had the I can't wait to see his yeah. death again. <laughs> was that season four, right? About that. I think it's three. It took so damn long. Might three be yeah. late wedding, three. But... Might be late three. three yeah, because three is the, the red, red wedding, wedding and four. four. Yeah, they didn't. Because I remember season four is the season that I was like, yeah, now I'm liking this shit, yo. <laughs> Everybody starts getting what they deserve. The big battle happens. Yeah, season four was the shit. I think Tyrion gets the throne. It though. took me four I years want, to fucking like this. You know this what? I show. will say this. An I, I want Tyrion to get the throne. I want what? Tyrion to get the throne because... Why not? In so Don't you many... think I should rule? Robert had it. Brooklyn, at the very How least, New end? York, the whole... That lasted like that 40 years, bro. That was like a Robert's very reign? long... Yes, Robert Robert's Brian. reign was Yo, for... Robert was like a How... super warrior okay, before so he How became old... king. How old is John? Let's say John is anywhere between 28 and 32. Mm-hmm. That's how long Robert's reign has been. Because Robert thought that Rhaegar Targaryen raped Lyanna Stark. John doesn't come out that old enough. No. For the record, the best line, the best interaction acting wise in the whole show happened in the first episode. And this is a credit to Sean Bean. When Robert Baratheon walks up to him and he's like, You got You got fat. <laughs> and Sean Bean's just like, <laughs> yeah. He doesn't say shit. He just says mad shit with his eyes. Yes. <laughs> and then they laugh. And, and like you as the viewer are just like, yeah. oh my god, what is he gonna say? And like all, all of a sudden they're laughing and hugging, like, oh okay, and it takes you right into the they scene. They know each other, they know each other. I remember what I was saying. I remember what I was saying earlier. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. So Jon Snow is our Targaryen. Fuck, it's leaving. Tyrion, Hurry up! Tyrion is a Lannister. Before Robert's reign, the Targaryens and the Lannisters were very good together. So the Lannisters served the Targaryens and they were also their hands and they always were very loyal to the Targaryens. And I think if Bronn uses his whole, oh, hey, I know things and blah, 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 he can tell Jon this is someone he can trust. And also because Tyrion is the gift. So maybe he's the gift for the whole realm. I don't know. But if down the Lannisters to, served the Targaryens, right to, why did Tywin fucking get fucked? Because he knew where to Because that was the mad shit. king. He was fucked up in the head. Right, but I will say, yeah, but I, I have to say that I, I I, want Tyrion to be the one. At the very least, I would like Tyrion to ride one of you're the just dragons. A fan of him. I, I can't say that because he'll die. But be I will say, I, I am biased. I am biased. But the only other person I could see Jon Snow giving that that you swear Jon Snow is taking the throne. Yes, but I don't think he keeps it. All right, so he like abdicates the whole shit to somebody Any else. Any chance he gives us a Gendry? No, I'm sorry. No. Gendry gonna, gonna die have a history with the Baratheons. Yeah, the Rob, the, yeah the that's reason Robert, Baratheon Gendry's gonna die heroically, yeah. isn't he? Maybe. I hope so he, Who? he better Gendry. do it with a hammer in his hand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He got um, an awesome weapon. Yes. He needs to. You claim the whole Baratheon thing. So, yeah, guys, yeah. The does he even know who thing? his father is? He does, I think. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, he, yeah, he, 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 he talks he about, oh, yeah, my father um, fought with my father. Yeah. Yes. He talks to John. That's how he, he makes that. friends with Jon Snow. Yeah. So, guys, like, what it really comes down along, to... So, we should get along, too. But what he doesn't know is that his father actually killed Jon Snow's father. Yeah. So, it's kind of funny. I mean, basically, like, once, once Game of Thrones starts, we, we're going to have to have our Brooklyn Maester on, like, every, every show week, to yeah. analyze the whole shit. shit going <laughs> yeah. forward. Be drunk all the time. So, yeah, no, I mean, drunk Liz is fun Liz. That's Very fun. Breaks. That's where he breaks down. And uh, I'm happy to be a part of that. I'm, I'm glad I could mix some drinks that you enjoy and not have to retch over. This is great. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, this is good. Man, I, mean, I drive dangerous. Eve a little bit, but it's because it's so good. I'm going to get <laughs> some cherries for you. And that's oh, like, that's that. the cap off of these drinks. Is really, you drink them to drink yeah. the cherries at See, the I end. I like getting two cherries. 
two cherries. I see. He listens <laughs> yeah. to me. He pays attention. Sure. I like. But it. I will say this: if Tyrion does not get the throne, I think either John or Jamie get it because Bran has that knowledge. So if Jamie gets it, Jamie has to hand it to someone, and why not Tyrion? Hmm. So I will say the only other person I can see John giving it to is the Night King. No. Yes. <laughs> I'm drinking that. Absolutely says you gotta try the cherries he recommended. Yes, would I'm gonna he, get them. Would he want to stay in that castle considering that's what happened with his father? No. And you know, Shay. So they've been saying it since season one. Who's, Every time a Stark goes to King's Landing, it's died. never good. Yeah, no, it's bad. Yeah. And even though he's not a Stark, I think that he was born in the North, raised in the North, raised by Ned Stark. Stark blood. He's going yeah, back he's not, to the he's North. Not fucking with that. that man is from the North. A lot of yeah. the building needs to be done. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, but I think that that's what he does. What's going to happen to the dragons if Danny dies? Does he keep them? Because to rebuild Winterfell. So that's what my next some, thing is. I think Jon Snow. Keep him at the wall. So Jon Snow Ooh. would get Jon Snow would get Drogon. Okay, and. Tyrion, when he goes to remember Drogon's that scene where he die. goes, all three dragons die. Drogon's gonna die. I hope the other not. one will live, but, but Drogon's gonna die. There is a scene where Tyrion goes into the pits where the dragons are, I remember that. and they don't attack him because mm-hmm. they can sense when someone is foe and when someone is friendly. Uh-huh. And he says to the dragons, "When I was little, I used to dream about having one of you, mm-hmm. and I was so sad to know that you never ex- that you didn't exist anymore, but I still prayed." Can I please have one, even if it's little like me? And Rhaegal is the smaller dragon. So... Maybe one of them is knocked up. I don't know how. You do, yeah. Well, in the, I think Could in the books they explain like that... The no, they're like asexual. The dragons don't need each other to... They're like born with like eggs, and I think they can just have, that have, have more babies. Oh, like poop. Like poop. <laughs> Drunk driving a dragon. Oh, oh I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I want to do that shit. Universal Studios needs to come out with like riding a dragon kind of like. Yes, a ride of some kind. Oh my God. And on I mean, that I note. I would never do it, but still, that's amazing. You'd have to do it. That's so scary. I would do, I would it. do it. Everybody, we thank you for tuning in. It has been a great oh, show. <laughs> oh, what you have stuff. What's this? It's what is, just a, what is a, It's for you. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. You, you should open it. <gasps> oh, Breaking okay. shit. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Alright, so just a regular schmegular um What's this? Targaryen (gasps) glass on blue glass because winter is here. And Ooh, am I supposed to give this away? No, this is yours. And another one. (laughs) And this one's more for ghost. Oh, that shit is dope with the white. <laughs> that shit is oh, yeah. awesome. You know how I do. Fuck it, I just lick it to make sure it's mine. <laughs> That's how we yeah, lay yeah. claim to things in Brooklyn. Yes, yes, yes. We <laughs> fucking like lick it. it. It's true. It's true. These are awesome. Fuck yeah. Wow. Yes, when you're watching, promise you'll drink from that. Of course, I'm gonna drink from that every Game of Thrones. I got one awesome. for me and one for Mom. Perfect. I hope there's no like tits in the new, ser- oh, yeah, in right. new series of Game of Thrones because it's like Why? makes it really awkward watching it with mom. I started watching it with my father in law, and yes, it is awkward, but I love the show so much. Especially when George that... is fucking the shit out of Yeah, but, see, I just pretended to watch dishes all during that scene. It's not, doing, he's yeah. that it's not like your dad or your mom, it's your father in law. No, it's worse. In which case, no, it's, it's worse. maybe worse it's for you, better. but not for him it's because. Better. He could just go to his son, who has conveniently left at the moment, for this joke. But he'd be like, hey. I, well, Red's working with the overtime, but with the snow threats and all. But I know what's coming. So I'm like, oh, this is the part. Okay. So I'll go and, and you just wash dishes leave the room. Yeah, no, and I do understand. something. And then when I come back, he looks so traumatized. And I live for these moments. <laughs> but I cannot... Yes, but I love watching it with him. And he likes it. He likes it so much, in fact, that when my kids get home, he's like, oh, good, you're home. How do you work the Xbox? Go to the, he calls it Game of Snow. (laughs) Yeah, so he's like, Game of Snow. How do we get to the Game of Snow? And my kids know what he's talking about, so they'll put it on for him. And then they'll leave the room. And I think last time he caught up, like he watched two episodes. And he was like, I saw 
when they put the sword to the little midget man, <laughs> and they were going to take him to some place somewhere high. Oh, airy, yeah. Yeah, and I was like, that's right, good job! I was, like, really excited about the fact that my father-in-law is watching it, but... Nice. You know, this is someone who survived Hurricane Maria. Yeah. And, you know, kudos, Dad, good shit. And he came here to New York, and he's, you know, getting some things settled so he can go back to the island and retire happily, but for right now... It's Game of Thrones, and he is addicted. I mean, yeah, I mean, he's, he's got all summer to just fucking oh, yeah. sit and veg in front of the TV. Yeah. And more power to you, sir. We are happy. I have a drink left over. And guys, thank you for tuning in. It has been a thank great you. show all over. Liz, thanks. Thank for, you. As, I fucking love you. We, we miss you. I don't know you what I'm going to do after this fucking show. I don't show. know. I mean, we're going to have to focus on prequels or like Lord of the Rings or something. I don't know what. Lord of the Rings. I can do Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Red promised that he would watch Lord of the Rings with me. Fuck Lord of the Rings. (laughs) Don't listen. Apparently, he's a liar. (laughs) (laughs) So, guys, thanks for tuning in. Be sure as Game of Thrones gets closer and starts airing that we will have... Season 8, and we will have our Brooklyn Grand Maester on to analyze every yeah, episode. That week is a big week, because, uh... Yeah, it's gonna be ridiculous. That first episode but, of Game yo, of Thrones, a- April, Endgame fucking... April is insane, review. because we're gonna have Endgame, we're gonna have Hellboy, yeah. we're gonna have fucking Game of Thrones. It's just gonna be wild, and nobody's gonna be sober for it, so make sure you <laughs> tune in. Yep. Make sure you just stop being sober tuning into Pete's Basement. And I don't really encourage... Drinking and narcotics and everything, but sobriety sucks. It's boring. It's boring. It is so boring. So boring. So boring. And but yo, drop how- your theories. If you guys have theories, please share them in the comments. Share them in the yeah, questions. Yeah, shit. Please. <laughs> no, we are so open to it because you know what? She's I, right. I, I'm a little biased, so I can be blindsided by my theories. So if you guys have new theories like, oh, we know you like Tyrion, but Arya's going to sit the throne. We want to hear why. your shit. Yes. Questions at Pete'sBasement.com, Facebook.com, forward slash Pete's Basement, Instagram, Twitter, etc. At Pete's Basement. And if you're emailing us, title that shit Game of Thrones. And we will read it and I'll make sure it yes. forwards along to the proper recipients. <laughs> it's gonna be fucking awesome for the next like several. Yo, you, you have no idea how great of a time we're gonna have it's six or eight in episodes. the basement. So it could be eight. six. Eight? Six, eight, seven. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say six. I yeah, I don't even six. know. They're going to be but like an hour and a half each. Yeah, so yeah, just yeah, hour and a half, two hours. Sit and watch them and enjoy it. <laughs> so, guys, yo, if you haven't yet, grab yourself a Pete's Basement t-shirt so you can rock the basement show at www.represent.com forward slash store forward slash Pete's Basement. We got the regular Pete's Basement t-shirts and the summer shirts. Summer's coming real quick. And we got the tank tops. Plus we got the Pete's Basement supports Project Harmony. Pete's Basement supports our veterans. Plus, awesome, we got Pete's Basement supports the Hero Initiative. Go grab yourself one of these t-shirts and help out one of these charities and send us a photo of yourself in the Pete's Basement t-shirt so we can post it on our social media and we can share it here because we're going to make you internet infamous. That's the whole point of you buying this shirt. Besides, like, you wear it around your hometown and be like, yo, have you watched these crazy motherfuckers? They're crazy <laughs> motherfuckers. Like, you got to watch these crazy motherfuckers. You got to fucking wear it and send us a photo yes. so we can share the photo. That's a true story, by the way. He wore the Pete's Basement shirt and we went to a carnival. And the some feast. guy, the yeah, the feast. feast. We went to a feast. And of course, it had to be an Italian feast. Yeah. And some guy looks at Red and goes, Oh shit, I know Pete. And we were like, What the fuck? <laughs> but yes, those it shirts happens. Are awesome. It really happens and in real life. They are really good quality. I'm they I'm are. very impressed with the represent quality of t-shirts. They are good. Uh, they they're a nice thick fabric, so you can mm-hmm. wear them all year round. Yo, it's good shit. We we're, we're never gonna sell you bullshit. So go on and get yourself a t-shirt. Send us a photo, and we're gonna 
just show you off to the rest of the world. And if you don't have a shirt, shame. 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 And if you have a couple of bucks to spare, make sure you get on www.patreon.com forward slash Pete's Basement. Also, Pete'sBasement.com forward slash Patreon and join in the Patreon game, man. All you got to do is for a dollar a week, you get your name in the in the Pete's Basement website. For $3 a week, you get your name in the credits of this very episode of any upcoming episode that just stays there. Seriously. For $10 a week, you get your name highlighted in the credits. Highlighted like bigger font and all kinds of shit. <laughs> and you get other crazy shit. And we are always amending the different, you know, reward tiers. So if there's something you want, let us know. <coughs> We're happy to give it to you. <laughs> I can't give you burps. I can possibly bottle it for you, cap it, send it off. <laughs> But you probably don't want that. I mean, if you do, let me know. But I'll happily make a fucking tier of burps. <laughs> but <clears throat> for the most part, we thank all of you guys for contributing. You have sketches on the way. You have all sorts of uh, basement paraphernalia on the way, including autographed cards, T-shirts, as well as uh, sketches and all sorts of different stuff. So, guys... If you haven't checked it out yet, you can follow us on Patreon for absolutely nothing. And we have exclusive posts and stuff that go on there that are that don't go anywhere else. That are, you know, conversations and stuff that we have that we can talk to you. And it costs absolutely nothing to just follow us on Patreon. And, you know, for a dollar a day, you get your name in the website. For three dollars, you get your name in the credits. And we go up from there. And if there's something you want, let us know. We'll be more than happy to add it to the reward tiers. Because, you know, we're cool like that. We don't give a fuck. Whatever you want, we try to do. We try. We'll try. You can't have the deed to the house. That's, uh, you know, that's where it's run a line. Thanks for tuning in, guys. It's been a great week. It has been an extra long episode. So what we're going to have probably is this one. Uploaded in its entirety, raw dog just uh, fucking throw the shit up, and then we're gonna break the motherfucker up into comics, Game of Thrones, and Captain Marvel reviews. So make sure you subscribe to the Pete's Basement YouTube. Get on there. You can find the Pete's Basement on YouTube and hit the little button that says subscribe. And then hit that little bell that lets you know when we upload a new video. And like and subs- and like and comment on the video because it does help exponentially with this mysterious fucking algorithm that YouTube and everything's got going for them. Because they only respond to likes and comments and shit like that. We will talk to you. We will respond back. It's what we do. Because we got nothing better to do during the week. Besides work. And who the fuck wants to work? Yeah. So, we'll see you guys Friday next week. We off Thursday. We on Friday next week. And we'll catch you then. Thanks for tuning in as always. And, uh, yeah. Go see Captain Marvel if you haven't already. And... Yes. Thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. Ready. For having fucking yeah. Always Dude. a good time. <laughs> and you get a high five too. Ramon, yes. You're fucking high always fives. <laughs> I'm, ah. I'm stuck. You're stuck? Yes, I'm out. I'm out. All right, I'm out. let's I fucking stop this shit. <laughs>
What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the basement. We got a great show for you tonight. We got Red, we got Liz, we got Ramon, and I'm going to do that again because I'll say you last because you're behind the counter. <laughs> well, that's an outtake. <laughs> we haven't had one of those in a while. Put the phone down, you fuck. Say hello to the people. Where you going? The oh, the fridge is on. The fridge whole thing's an outtake. <laughs> see, it's, see, it's, it's good looks, go. Fred. Right? Good. Yep. That was good. <laughs> 